All right, this is the moment that everybody has been waiting for, or at least one or two people have been waiting for, which is still everybody. This is the beginning of our Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. I've done minimal researches on the class. I'm going to take a few minutes to look at the classes and the races. I have an idea of what I would like to play. I will be playing balanced, and this is my warning to everybody who chooses to watch going forward that I really don't know anything about D&D, so this will be uncomfortable for some of you. We're going to choose balanced. I've remained pretty spoiler free. I haven't watched any streams. And I've perused the wiki lightly just to reduce the amount of time I spend looking at race and class combinations in character select. Nah, she was taking a little nappy. This guy's got some serious coke nails. Oh god, no. No. Oh. At least let it go in the ear. At least let it go in the ear. Not in the eye. Not in the eye. Not with the teeth. Oh. Sir, I am going to ask you to stop. Oh! <laughs> that was not necessary. <laughs> that view, that view dead on was not necessary. Uh, yeah, we're going to do custom origin. And I have an idea of what I would like to do. I, I don't know what this is that I'm on right now. This looks like an elf. I'm not going to be an elf, okay? Obviously, because uh, the dragonborns probably look the coolest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Race features. I can move 9M per turn. I think that's awesome. Um, well, well, the elves get all of this, and I get to move 9 meters. Can see in the dark. Have advantage on saving throws. These are the people that wish they were dragonborn. Look at those horns. They're lacking dark vision, hellish resistance, fire now. Okay. Nobody wants to be a drow because uh, Salvatore ruined drow with Drizdo, or nobody likes them. Civil militia. You have a weapon proficiency, human versatility. The Gith Yankees. They, uh, they have astral knowledge, cantrips, and martial prodigy. God, why is she so mommy, though? Dwarven combat training. See, they can only move seven and a half M's per turn. They can see in the dark. Dwarven resilience. Half elves. Ah, they also can move nine M's per turn. Simple militia, weapon proficiency. I mean, everybody's kind of got the same stuff. Lucky. Halfling. Lucky and brave. Gnomes. Seven and a half M's, because they've just got short legs. They've just got tiny little legs. Advantages on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. I feel like that sounds good. I have literally nothing, but I can move. I can just move further. And then the half orc can see in the dark. Relentless endurance. Savage attacks. When you land a critical with your melee weapon attack, you can deal extra, an extra dice of weapon damage. I, I don't know if that's good or not. I feel like the, the race that I want to take, like, 
Maybe they don't do a lot because they just look super badass. Maybe that's maybe that's it. Okay. So we do have some sub races. We can be now the black is definitely the best, but what do they get? I get it's an acid breath. That sounds good. And the blood of ancient dragons flows through my veins. I'm resistant to acid. Okay, so I move far. I spit acid and then I, I'm acid resistant. I'm guessing everybody else is kind of the same. Bronze, copper. I mean, the copper does look kind of cool. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, a golden dragon. What do they do? Fire breath, but also fire resistance. Let me guess. Poison and poison resistance. Let me guess. Fire and fire resistance. Silver is frost. And then white. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think that... Man... Oh, God. I mean, I feel like this is a little too normy, right? Like a red dragon. Like, when have you ever seen a black dragon? Except for all of the ones in Elden Ring. But if you forget all of those, I wish the copper dra Like, copper just seems so lame as a name for a dragon. But they, I, they, it looks the best. It looks the best. Whoever designed this really went all in on the worst dragon. I'm going to take the black dragon. Okay. Custom origin. Black dragon. Here we go. Class. I'm not going to be a barbarian. Okay. Everybody plays a bard. This is. I want to play something that not everybody's playing. Okay. Everybody's playing a bard. Like, look at this. I would not. This is beneath me as a black dragon to be wearing... I think that's a Gambison. I think in Witcher 3, they called it a, a Gambison, that, that shirt. No, thank you. I also feel like as a black dragon, my identity is not casting heals. I, m maybe because I'm an animal, I would speak with other animals. That makes a little more sense. How about a monk? Nope, not, not with those tights, not with those tights. Now, a paladin is getting a little closer. I think they're very durable. They're honorable. The ring. <sighs> this is what I wanted to be, but I'm looking at the pants and character select. In the boots R are a huge turnoff. They are a huge turnoff. Wait, can I choose a male or female? Am I a male or am I a female? How do I um? I would like to be a male. I mean, nothing against the ladies. Class ranger background um. Does anybody, does anybody know how to be a man? Um, oh, here we go. Here we go. Honey type two. Okay. There we go. Okay. Sorry, ladies. Next playthrough. I will be a female dwarf. All right. Okay. Class ranger. Okay. I think I wanted to be the ranger for some weird RP reasons that I, I, I don't know if it's good or not. So I have a favored enemy. All right. I would like to be, I want to be a bounty hunter. I don't know if it's good, but it sounds like a lot of fun. Studying the tactics and abilities of certain creatures has granted you a set of abilities that's useful in a variety of situations. I also get a find familiar, summon a familiar, a fey spirit. I don't know if I want a fey spirit or fey spirits fairies. I want to summon a badass bear or a dire wolf. I don't want to summon like a, like a Lulu pixie from League of Legends again. No offense to the Pixies, but I need something that's a little more dangerous. A little more edgy. Oh, it takes this the animal form of my choosing. That's beautiful. All right. So I'm a I'm a I'm a black dragonborn ranger bounty hunter. And I get another choice. Um this uh th these seem kind of lame, right? Because they basically you spent endless days surviving desolate tundras, you gain resistance to cold. I feel like Whatever I choose here, I'm going to die to the other thing. Like, if I just all in on poison resist, I'm just going to die to fire spells, right? Like, that's just... And then I'm going to be like, why did I choose to be this thing? I guess the other thing is... It just feels like a giant waste, right? It just feels like a giant waste. I could be an urban tracker. I don't think... Do I even get anything for... I don't even get anything for being an urban tracker. There's no... There's no thing down here. I don't know what it... Hold on, what does it give me? Urban Tracker. Oh, let me read the tip. 
An expert at navigating the wild within a city, you gain proficiency in sleight of hand. I don't know what sleight of hand is. Maybe I can steal things? Um, I don't know. But I think it, it, it makes sense to me if I want to be a ranger. But I don't, I don't, I don't know if I want to use a bow or not, right? Um, a ranger, bounty hunter, urban tracker. Okay. Now I get to choose a background. Okay. I don't know what any of this is. Also, uh, edit appearance. Okay, I'm going to edit the appearance in a minute. I'm almost done. An acolyte. You've spent your life in service to a temple, learning the sacred rites and providing sacrifices to the god or gods you worship. Serving the gods and discovering their sacred works will guide you to greatness. I don't think this is me. Now, if I'm a... If I'm a bounty hunter with sleight of hands and I'm an urban tracker, I just don't feel like I spend a lot of time, you know, at church. Charlatan, you're an expert in manipulation. Wait, there's a skill down here. Insight and religion. No, I'm just hard pass. I'm an expert in manipulation, prone to exaggeration, and more than happy to profit from it. Bending the truth and turning allies against each other will lead you to a greater success. I like this. It also looks like I maybe I'll double up on my sleight of hand. My deception. Ooh, I feel like a bounty hunter would be big on that. A criminal. You have a history of breaking the law and survive by leveraging less than legal connections. Profiting from criminal enterprise will lead you to greater opportunities in the future. Deception and stealth. I just feel like a, I'm a giant black dragon. It just doesn't make any sense to try to be stealthy. They're just going to see my big head sticking out from behind the barrels. That's just going to happen. Entertainer, I don't even think we need to read this. Like, I'm not a bard. A folk hero. I'm a champion of the common people. Challenging tyrants and monsters to protect the helpless. Saving innocence. I kind of want to be a little more uh, swashbuckling. Influence animals. Pet all of the dogs. And look, I'm a dog person. I, I just... I don't have a, a penchant for petting dogs in video games like a lot of folks do. No offense, dog people. The Guild Artisan. Your skill in particular craft has earned you a membership in the Mercantile Guild, offering privileges and protection while engaging in your art. Repairing and discovering rare... Oh, shit. Oh, God. That's the my loot brain is tickling right now. Hold on. Insight checks and persuasion. Turn on the charm. Coax and Kaholi. No. Noble. I don't think I want to be a noble. I, I don't really like history and persuasion. You were raised in a family among the social elite, accustomed to power and privilege. Accumulating renowned power and loyalty will raise your status. No. Outlander. You grew up in the wilds, learning to survive far from the comforts of civilization. Survival usually survive unusual hazards. The wild will enhance your prowess and understanding. I won't be honest. This isn't terrible. I feel like because I don't really know how D and D works or or BG, you know, Baldur's Gate works. Like, I might need to lean into some survival because it will help me out of my mistakes. Sage, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be doing any arcana. I don't think we're gonna, okay. Soldier, you're trained in the battlefield tactics of combat, having served in a militia, mercenary company, or officer corps. Show smart tactics and bravery in the field. Like I, what, what it says, show smart tactics and bravery on the battlefield to enhance your prowess. Like I don't actually know that if I do these things, like what the game considers smart tactics, and bravery on the battlefield, will it enhance my skills in some way? Will it enhance my athletics and intimidation? I don't really know. I don't know if the choices that I make in game are going to be reflected in these skills that I'm reading here. Urchin. After so, okay, so this one is sleight of hand and stealth. After surviving a poor and bleak childhood, you know how to make the most of very little using your street smarts, bolsters, your spirit for the journey. Okay, obviously, um, I think charlatan. Like, if you want to be a successful bounty hunter, I think that you probably have to have the ability to use deception and sleight of hand. I don't like the term charlatan because I feel like it has such a negative connotation. So for me, it would be either charlatan, so I could really double down on the sleight of hand. Yeah, okay. Helps you uh, lock, help you pick locks and pickpockets, disarm traps, lion sheep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay, I have no idea what my abilities need to be. I think this star, okay, the most important ability for your class it influences your chance to hit and your damage output with weapon attacks. Here's the problem. Does it tell me, like, as a ranger, what I need to focus on? I, I have no idea what my abilities use for, for any of my skills. 
What does this mean? Oh, no. What did I just click on? Use recommended. Uh, clear. Use recommended. Okay. Okay. All right. So the game thinks that I need to have dexterity and wisdom. But, you know, these. Hold on. T inspect. Uh, let's see. Plus two to wisdom checks. Hold on. Let me just read these real quick. Muscles and physical power affects your effectiveness with melee weapons. Also determines how far you can jump and how much you can carry. Plus three to saving throws. Dexterity. Agility, reflexes, and balance affects your effectiveness with ranged and finesse weapons. Also your initiative in armor class. Okay. What about... Constitution should be hit points, intelligence, memory. Okay. Wisdom. Senses and intuition improve spellcasting for clerics, druids, and rangers. I don't think I'm gonna be casting a lot of spells. Like I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm the I'm the ranger they're talking about in in here. Um, and I wanted to be like a melee bounty hunter. I don't want to be. I I want to be like a. Okay, what if we do this? Okay. What? Okay, does this break my character if I want to be a melee ranger? Plus two to strength checks. Hold on, let me see. Plus one to strength checks. As, like, I don't know how much of a difference everything makes here. There we go. What if I did 15 strength? Is this, what else is this? Um... Agility reflexes and balance affects your effectiveness of ranged and finesse weapons. Also affects your armor class. Affects your effectiveness of melee weapons. Also determines how far you can jump and how much you can carry. Okay, listen. Everybody just stop cringing right now. And the reason why I need everybody to stop cringing is because I want to be a melee ranger bounty hunter and I want to carry a lot of things. I don't need to cast a lot of spells. Okay, don't be, don't be mad at me. Does this make sense or no? Ah, <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, oh God. Am I nerfing myself right now? Is everybody screaming at me right now that I've made a horrible mistake? How much more can I carry is the real question here. If this is like I can carry an extra hundred pounds, I'm going to do it. I'm, I got it. I got it. We're just going to go with this. Let's edit this appearance. Um, terrible choice. Terrible look. Now, we need the big horns. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah, let's go with the big horns. I actually like, I like what they've chosen here for me. This makes me look like I'm an amphibian. I hate it. Thanks. There we go. Okay, this is, this is good. This is very intimidating. Let me check the jaws. I like the, the dragon soul patch that we have there, but I could make it a little hornier. There, oh, I like these these like horny options right here with the ridges down there. Okay. Skin color is black. We're going to keep that. All right. Let's see. I can choose some body art. I can't. Um, oh, is this my f lapis stud muffin? Nah, I think I would just want to wait. Midnight tears. I think I just want to go all natural. The red skintilla. No, 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 no. How do I go all the way back? Minotaur ring. Easy breezy. Uh, no, just there we go. There we go. That's good. Uh, the eyes. Let me take a look here. I need like pure. Oh shit, that's sexy. What about the purple though? No, no, no. I don't think the purple. Okay, that's piercing blue. Uh, let's confirm that. I don't think I need any. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 I don't. I don't need smoky eye for my dragon, and then my tail. Obviously, I want. Where is where is it though? Oh shit! That's so good. That's so good. Okay. All right. I think that I'm done butchering my character. I think a guy just we left off. A guy put a thing in my eyeball, and let's proceed. My character name is going to be Razor Tooth Grim. That's such a good bounty hunter name. I thought about that in the shower this morning. Did I spell it right? Oh sh sugar, we almost. Ruin the entire run. Yeah, Razor Tooth 
Ra is that cringe or no? Rains or tooth? Um, or do we want to do two M's? Maybe we do two M's. I don't know if I love it with two M's. I think I like it with, okay. That's going to be fine. Let's go ahead and proceed. This is perfect. I think this is everything I ever wanted. It's all downhill. Wait, what? I need a guardian. Wait, is this somebody that travels with me? Oh, shit. Who do I want to... Man, I didn't know. Um... Hold on. I don't understand what I'm doing here. I need a guardian. Is this somebody that's just like physically with me the whole time? Girl, what you got going on? I'm going to slide into them DMs. Half elf, half orc. What? Do they all just wear the same stuff? A drow. I thought drows would be shorter, honestly. Damn. Damn. I don't even know what a Gith Yankee is. Is it like, is it an orc? Like we already have orcs. Maybe it's just a different type of orc. Um, so I can't pick another Dragonborn, huh? Okay. I don't know. I was not prepared to make this decision. Um, I guess. I guess we'll just go with a human. I don't, I don't know what the benefits of having somebody with me is. Yeah, that's fine. She can look like that, I guess. I hope I don't have, an, have to name her. I wasn't like, I wasn't ready to name her. She's pretty hot. Uh, I'm going to hit this one. I'm going to regret this. Oh, oh no. Oh, what have we done? I'll just take, I'll just take like one normal human lady. I would like, I would, honey type. Wait, why is she like eight feet tall? I don't want her to be taller than me. I'm the, I'm the main character. Settle down. Wait, how do I just go back to normal? Where was the, where was the default lady? Oh, God. We're never gonna... Guys. We're never gonna find the default human lady again. She's just gonna wander out of my life forever. Please. Hold on. How do I... I wanna... How do I... Um. How do I do just the... How do I do... What's this button do? It just... Okay. Oh. Oh, no. Back out. Okay. Oh, default human lady, come back. There has to be like a there has to be like a a, def, a default button. There has to be a default button for the human lady. Wait, if I go back, watch this. I Do I still have my name and everything? Where's my name? Um, edit appearance. Now we're still good. Okay. Um, man, this human lady better be worth all this extra trouble. Ra uh, razor tooth grim. It's spelled. It's spelled correctly, I think. Oh, human lady. Where is my default human lady? I'm gonna spend the rest of my game searching for her. All right, let's just find somebody. Oh. I could make the hu I could make the human default lady. I I'm going to be honest with you, the female dwarves are kind of banging. They got me feeling some type of way. <sighs> Do you guys think I can, can I, do you think I can make the human lady? All right, let's just not, I'm going to hit this like three more times. <laughs> 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 
what has happened? Uh, hold on. What was this button? Please don't tell me that was a. What it, oh, that just turns her. All right. Okay, this is my this is my lady right here. This is as close to default lady that we can get to. Let's take it. Let's venture forth. Are we on this guy's skyboat? This guy better ring the bell. Ring the bell. He dropped his weapon though. Imagine being three floors away from the bell when the tentacle skyboat shows up. But that guy has damned everyone. These are my people. These are my dragon people right here. Wait, it's an orc on a dragon. Never mind. Oh! That dude just got tentacle slapped so hard. Oh. No, 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 no. Go in feet first. Go in feet first. Whoa! This guy's hot wiring his boat and he's out. Trying to save her. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> he lit the, the, uh, the tadpole soup on fire. I think the boat crashed. No, the boat is still flying. It's like a weird tentacle snail boat. Oh, look at these little guys. There's a lot of them. Are they on my side or? Oh, that's me. That's me. That's me. I look precisely as badass as I'd hoped. Except my boots. I gotta get rid of these boots and this tunic. It's gonna be... 
Step one, escape this boat. Step two, I gotta change my clothes. Nobody's gonna take me seriously in these clothes. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. These graphics are kind of great. Journal up... Uh, I ain't gonna read that. Escape the nautiloid. Uh, we've been abducted by mind flayers and infected with some type of parasite. But that is the understatement of the century. We need to find a way off this ship. That is that is great. I don't know what this is. Inspo hold on. All right. Map. Okay. General tutorial to map my surroundings. You can view quest locations and place custom markers. You can also teleport to waypoints you've discovered. Okay. I think this might be the boat. Uh, that is this game. Okay. Inspiration. When a character performs an action that's true to their background. Oh, I really have to role play. They gain experience points and receive an inspiration. Inspiration is maybe spent to reroll an ability check. Test whether an action is successful. Okay. You can have a maximum of four inspiration. If you're at your maximum of inspiration, completing background goals only grants experience. Oh, geez. You're an expert in manipulation. Prone. Okay, we already read that. Okay, so I actually just have to be a charlatan, and I'm going to get inspirations. I don't have any dialogue yet. I don't think I need tutorials, right? I think we're pretty good here. Okay, I can click on things. And it is my left click to move. This is the pool that Bing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Uh... In, I'm going to use my investigation, okay? Minus one from intelligence, plus two. Oh, wait, maybe I need some int. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna investigate the pool. General check. Some dialogue options require a check, a dice roll that must meet or exceed the target number. Your character skills add a bonus to the roll. Okay, I think that's what my plus two was. So this is a difficulty class 10. God, guys, we got to start over. We got to go back to character select. We have we have nerfed our character. Okay, I have. A, we'll just get a little bit of extra int in our in our first like when we when we level up. Okay, so this is a difficulty class ten. Do I need to roll like a ten or higher? I'm gonna select this. I'm a literal Baldur's Gate three god right now. Okay, okay, maybe we don't need int. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Boy. I feel like I'm a bounty hunter. I should I should probably touch it. I, I should investigate one of these buttons. Game menu and die. Okay, those will not help me. I'm gonna re I'm gonna I'm gonna reach towards the pool. I already have one of these things in my eye. Oh! Did I did I get hurt? No time to rest. Now wait a goddamn second. Did I just get hurt? What is this button? Inventory and equipment. Does this eight of eleven me blood? No, never mind. How do I see my hit points? This is actual. I don't know. There's no way to know. Wait, I can carry. All right, let's just move on. We'll investigate. Better not be cursed. Hold on. Let's keep looking. All right, I have a thing here. Uh, restoration. Oh, maybe this will heal me. I feel better. Holy shit! It actually healed me. Okay. Ah, so that guy was a mind flayer, and he had a pearl on him. I'm gonna take that. I think that. Can I just hit the Alt button and see? There we go. Okay. Let's see what else is there going on in this place. I bet there's some hidden stuff lying around. Mind flare pod. So we stuck inside if we hadn't been not getting back in that thing. Not can getting I, back in that thing. Can I hit it? Not getting not getting back in that okay. thing. Okay. Someone else got, might be other survivors. Oh, watch this. Oink. Wonder who's inside. Made it out. Do I have to keep someone else wonder who Really? I have to click this button every time I want to do so there has to be a um hold on. What's this button do? That button jump? Oh look at this. Oh, that's badass. Alright. I wanna shoot this thing. I'm gonna break this thing open and I'm gonna rescue whoever's in there. I, it's not it's not breaking though, is the problem. Okay. I think that I have uh I have Aha! Look what I found. 
Oh, did that hurt me? Cat. Okay, that's fine. Let's click on. Hold on. Let's finish investigating in case anything else is gonna hurt me, and then we will go click on the healing thing again. Maybe we can break this one open. It is still at a hundred percent. Okay, we're not gonna break that open. I'm doing zero. I'm literally zero damage. Okay. What made it out? All right. None of these. So there's nobody that I can save here. Uh, I've tried them all. Wait a minute. What's this? This is a ruptured mind flare pod. This is a ruptured one. Made it out alive. Oh yeah. Is there somebody dead in there? Okay. Well, listen. Let's click on the thing. There's caustic brine. Wait, is this gonna hurt me if I walk on it? Oh! I can't get to the hills. Do I have anything? Wait a minute, watch this. Hamstring shot. Watch this. I'll burn it because in these types of games, I think there are... It still says caustic. Wait, did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this. What? Okay. How much? I just want to... Maybe I can go up and around. I'll go up and around and click on the heel. There we go. Maybe I can... Uh... Oh, fuck. Restoration bot. Oh, I could use it to fully recover my hit points if I'm hurt. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's the restoration pod, though. God, I'm at seven hit points right now. I don't think I can click on it. Okay, what if I run through this and click? There we go. And then we run out. Okay, beautiful. It's that easy. It's that easy. Okay, I think we have to go this way. This is where the mission marker is. Let's go through the sphincter. All right. Uh, camera rotation. Oh, perfect. I just heard somebody talk. Okay, that's a neural apparatus. I bet I can plug into this with my mind. Okay, never mind. It's just an elevator. Who's this person? Murnath? I'm gonna be honest. They have like a little kid voice that's a little haunting. Maybe I can... Hold on. Can I just zoom? Okay, here's the thing. Is this person... This isn't the person talking to me. Murnath. I'm a bounty hunter. I need to investigate this. I feel like this guy's seen better days. Ooh. Yes, you've come to save us from. Is this that place. his brain? From this place, you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. Oh. They return. What? Quiver. I'm just not comfortable with the word quiver being used to describe how an open brain that's talking to me moves. Listen, we're bounty hunters. Okay. We must investigate. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. Oh. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. You sound afraid. Why? Destroy the brain. I'm going to dig deeper. I'm going to dig deeper. I'm, I've got to find the answers. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna investigate. We're gonna inspect the exposed quivering brain. Oh, dexterity! Gently prize the. I don't think I. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! I have dexterity. I also have strength. I don't know if I want to break the skull. Break the skull isn't necessarily investigating. If we gently prize the brain from the skull, we could get some further investigation. But I have to believe the only reason why this thing is in the brain still in the body is because it needs to be connected to the body for it to keep it alive. I'm going to inspect the exposed brain. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I'm the god roller right now. I'm 1-0 in rolls in this game, and I think I'm feeling pretty lucky. Boom! 2-0, baby. 
All right. You notice edema, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Ooh. Oof. Um, an edema. I don't want to break it. I do have, I mean, I do have some dexterity. I don't know if I can medicine or not. I don't know what my medicine score is. I got to assume that medicine is intelligence. I feel like I'm going to fumble around trying to do a cerebral extraction. Staying mindful of the swelling. God, I took all my points out of dexterity and I put them in strength because I'm an idiot. And now, now I want to try to remove this brain. Wait, when it says prize, what does prize mean? Gently prize. Does this mean pull? Am I just going to try to pull the... Okay, so I can break the skull. I can pull the skull out of it, or the, I can pull the brain out of the skull. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt the cerebral extraction. Let me see. Advantage lets you roll two dice and take the higher result before adding the modifiers. Okay, I makes you more likely to succeed. I mean, this seems good. All right, here we go. There it is, baby. I can't stop winning. Critical success. Here, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab this here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna the pull this out. From the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Wow. Do I wanna uh wait a minute? The brain lifts from the skull, but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient. Mutilate. Spare the creature. Any injuries might weaken it. Mutilate the brain. Yeah, I feel like there's some evil cooking in this thing. I'm going to spare the creature. When it talks about the creature, is it talking about the thing in the brain that's talking to me? I think that thing in the chair is dead. I think Mervin, Marvin or whatever his name is. I think that guy is, that guy, is, his ship has sailed. You know what? I'm going to spare this thing. That, like, what harm is a talking brain going to cause? I played God of War and I carried that dude's head around with me the entire game and it turned out fine. I'm going to just spare it. I fucked up, guys. Guys, I fucked up. It has legs. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. Okay. Maybe it's helping me. Ah, what's at the helm? The brain tenses. As though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Oh boy. I helped you once, but that's all I can do. I'll go, but not with you. What should I call you? Let's try to... This is a, a classic bounty hunter, urban tracker charlatan move that i learned when i was a hostage negotiator i'm gonna do, i'm gonna establish some trust here us we are us when you say us are you talking about you in the brain or are you talking about you and me i tell you what i'm gonna lean into this i'm feeling very yes man today I'm gonna, me and my brain pet, we are on our way to the helm. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. I'm sorry, Marvin. Okay, I have my first follower. Some allies may temporarily join you. You can direct their control or movement and actions. Click a follower's portrait, take control. Okay. All right. Um, all right, how do I get out of here? Wait a minute. Is there anything else that I need to investigate here? I can click this. This is a brain jar. Oh, oh, I'm controlling the... Stayed interesting. Oh, you know what? Okay, so 
Can my brain pet do anything or? Oh, it's called newborn. That is. No me yet. Curious. Uh, ranged attack and that. Oh. Okay, maybe I. I'm just gonna stand back. Wait, if it says use, I don't know what it means to use it. Use. Curious. No, no, no. All right, back up. Shoot these things. These boots have seen everything. Okay. Oh, Murneth. Oh, he doesn't have anything on him. All right. Let's see. I wonder if my brain pet knows how to get to the to the helm because I I don't. These brain jars. I can just shoot these things. All right. Let's continue. Brain pet with me. Okay. You can stay up there if you want, but you'll have to find your own way down. I'm moving on. I'm heading to the helm as we agreed. Okay. I didn't real. I didn't realize there was a there was a walkway there. Okay, we've got a little path here. I just heard, oh my God, it, we're moving. I can't pan my camera up to watch the fight with the dragons and the laser beam. I hope my... Dr Lady, please. Ma'am, throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past a dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head, what is this? <sighs> Squaw, you are no thrall. Flacketh blesses me this day. Together. We might survive. Yes. We both have tadpoles in our eyes. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich, mind flayers. This sounds urgent. We're turning into mind flayers. There must be something we, we can, can do. do. Nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the Ents. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. That's why I am keeping it. Oh, God. Uh, get ready to fight. Combat happens in rounds, and each participant gets a turn to act. The game pauses. Oh, rounds you during combat, so you have time to play interactions. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to commence battle. Um, During your turn, you can move, take an action, and a bonus. So I can do all three. Okay, show my actions. All right, so I think I can... Okay, 90% chance. 90% chance. All right. I'm going to shoot this guy right here, right in the face. Watch this. Boink. Okay, so I can move as well, huh? Wait, can I loot? This count is an action. Potion of healing and a caustic bulb. Throw it to coat the ground. Okay, cool. I'm sure I'll forget to use that. I can't shoot again though, right? Okay. How do I... What does this thing even do? What do you... Ooh. Um, I'm going to claw this thing. Go get it. Go get it, brain pet. Oh, my... All right. And then... Wait, if I end turn, is it for all characters or just the one? Oh, I can't even catch my breath. Oh. Oh, I see what's happening. I am okay, so it's just I for that one death. character. Not enough movement. Can she jump over there? I think there's a... Oh, there's so many things. Hide. Uh, dash. Throw. Knowledge. 
Oh, she has a bow. She has a bow. Watch this. I'm just going to yoink this thing. I'm going to yoink this thing from downtown. Okay, got it. Now, I think she can move too, right? Um, There we go. Damn it. I should have moved my guy up to fight this thing. I don't know why I moved him into the corner. Nice shot. Nice shot, buddy. Oh, God. It's, it's like... It's murdering my brain pet. Uh, let's move a little closer and then I'm going to save my brain pet. There we go. I'm going to shot that guy right in the face. All right, let's move up. What's the, there has to be a button for end turn. Oh, here we go. It's the space bar, guys. Oh, is my brain pet? Oh, it's got 21 hit points. Get up here and tank. I don't think it has a range. Does it have a ranged attack? Okay, I can't really reach that way. Uh, all right, let's 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 stop that. And sh I think she might be able to move up here and hit this thing. Watch this. Uh, not with that, but with this. Bonk. Wait a minute. Bonk. There we go. Beautiful. I feel like, uh, I feel like the sounds might be a little too low for the recording. I'm going to turn the voices... I'm gonna turn the voice volume up a little bit and see if that helps. With haste. Okay. Uh, is there? Oh, we got a. Uh, there's a dead thrall here. He has four gold on him. That's a huge find. And this guy has a crossbow. We're gonna take that because we're gonna sell that later, and we're gonna buy new boots. So I don't. Okay. Wait, these guys. These guys all have crossbows. Oh, this guy has a scimitar. Okay, big find. Big find. I think there was one more. This guy's got an X by the looks of things. Okay, cool. Traps, please. Uh, we, uh, there we go. Okay. I think we're good. Nothing else lights up when I hit the alt button, so. Let's go this way. We have another dead imp up here. There we go. Perfect. Dead throw. Look what I found. Look what I found. I found a simple robe. It's armor class, I think, is less than what I'm wearing right now. Watch this. I bet I can climb up. I bet I can climb up this arterial mesh. Perfect. Nope. Keep going. There we go. All right. We got two more gold. And... Oh. We're going to climb up this as well. Beautiful. Aha. We have another. Wait. Am I... Wait. What is happening to my health? What was hurting? I don't even know it was hurting me, but let's continue through the sphincter. Aha. I have found the helm. There's a backpack here. I'm going to take that backpack for sure. Oh. Wait, can I take the actual backpack? Backpack empty? Can I... Uh... What did I just ping? I just pinged something? So wait, can I... Uh... Can I equip? I can I can I equip it? Backpack, take, take all. You oh shit! We have no time for stragglers. Um, I can't just leave her in there. Look for a latch that might open the lid. Construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? The pod is stuck fast. I can't for you. I'll look around. There must be a way. Yeah, I'm going to save her. I'm going to save her. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! Try the contraption next to the pod. Rescue the Illithids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to touch this. The console appears dormant. Oh boy, I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look for the switch. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first, but then you spy an empty socket. I'm gonna hit it. Nothing. The console remains dormant. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find. it's in that socket, must power this thing. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! There's a thing here that's swirling. Sacrifice cultist flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. All right, 
look, there has to be... There has to be a way to save this lady, okay? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, what do we think all this is? Um, a burnished necklace. An elaborate reliquary. I need thieves tools. Dark mind. Okay. Oh, there's a healing thing right there and I use... I'm gonna get you out. Just hold on, lady. I'm looking around. Can we talk to this person? Man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. I wonder if I can. Man isn't dead. I can't. But he's totally unresponsive. All right. There has to be. What did it say? It says that I needed a thing. I feel like this. Let me try again. Flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. Okay, yeah, 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 I heard that. I heard that. I can't, um, can I attack them? Watch this. I bet I kill them and I get the loot. Attack again. There we go. Now I loot them. Look at this gold and a bottle, neither of which are going to let me get that lady out of there. Okay, let's try this one. Let's try this person. I'm so sorry. Okay, this person probably has the key on them for sure. They have gold and a mug. Jeez. Lady, I need you just to relax. I'm under a lot of pressure right now. Okay. So listen, this thing is glowing. I bet we shoot this. Wait, pick it up. I'm gonna pick, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This thing is the key. This thing is the key. Go pick it up. Get Okay. Uh, pick up and add to wares. Okay. Uh, pick it up. Come on. You know what? I bet my I bet my brain pet has to do it. This looks like brain pet work. Examine. It's a dark, oily liquid inside the tank. Pulses slowly, keeping time with your own breath. It has high. Re what? Somebody pick up. Can somebody pick it up? Like it said. Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna let this angry lady. Maybe she has like, uh, maybe she can, what? Okay, watch this. Use it. Hello, here we go. The console appears dormant. All right, put the, the mechanism put the thing in it. Unrecognizable at first, but then you spy yep. an empty socket. Put the, put the brain liquid tank into the, Nothing. The console remains dormant. Okay. Well, whatever we need to unlock this tank is not in this room because we've checked. We've checked everything. What was this? This thing we needed a thing for. Uh, it is locked. Oh, can we just pick it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just pick it up. There has to be like better hotkeys. I open it. Okay, it is locked. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> Got it. Beautiful. What All right. Never want to okay, maybe stars. whatever we need is in the next room. Wait a minute. Is this... Which way do we come in? Which sphincter did we come into? I think we came into that. I think we came in that sphincter. Hold on. Maybe there is like an... Hold on. M for map. Okay. Find a way to release the captive. I'm trying so hard right now. Let's go. Let's go this way. I bet it's. I bet there's an adjacent room. No, that has to be the sphincter that we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the sphincter we came in. Let's check in this sphincter. I bet there is. Let's see, brain in a jar. Brain jar. Use this. No. All right. Let's come in this sphincter. Oh, I almost, I think I almost closed the sphincter on everybody. All right. Um, God damn it. This might not be the sphincter we need to come in. This is the way we have to go, but like, this isn't the way I saved the lady. Hmm. Look. Lady, listen. Nothing. I've, to, wait. What if we just shoot it? Watch this. Hold on. I'm gonna use it. Come on! Get me out of this thing! 
Oh, God. The pot. I'm going to tell her the pot is stuck. Watch this. I'm so sorry. I've checked. I've clicked on everything in this room, lady. Wait. That can't be. There has to be another way. Please. It cannot be helped. Come. Listen, sexy orc lady. We can't just leave. I saved the brain pet. I can't leave the lady. All right. Hold up. I. Uh, okay. There's a door in front of me. Let's check this. Let's check this sphincter. Did the sphincter stay open? Oh, there's a nut. Wait, maybe this brain pet will help me open the open the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch. Hey. Hey, do you know how to open the thing? All right, let's just keep going. This thing appears harmless. Oh, it's going to come with me now. All right, let's come through here. Okay, maybe... Maybe the... Oh my god, I got a key! I got a key, I got a key, I got a key. Let's go back, let's go back. Huge W for rescuing the lady in the thing. Here we go. Guess what? Wait, she's still in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. The console appears dormant. Aha! I'm gonna use my the key. Mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. But then I notice. By an empty socket. That's exactly right. And in that socket is where I put the. Nothing. The console remains dormant. Okay. This is. It's disappointing. But we must move on. I'm so sorry, Lady Shadowheart. I'll be back. We've got another Mind Flare pod here. And let's talk to this one. This woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Oh, God. I can't break it. I can't break the pod either. All of these people. I can't just leave them all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, click on this. Push this. Yes. I'm going to place my hands. You place your hand on the pod. You hear something. A presence connected to the pod. Commanding the person inside to change. Uh... Oh, no. I'm so sorry, tongue lady. Oh. Change her. Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. Oh. I have to go look. I must investigate. Is she still, like, in there as a... Oh, God. The newborn mind flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. Okay. All right, listen. We have a few more things that we can investigate here. All right, what does this guy have? He's got gold? An eldritch rune. Wait, we need this. Yes. Let's go. We can go back and save the lady. This is a slave mind. I was right. in a cartoon, a cartoonist chest. We're going to click on that. All right. I think I have the thing to rescue the lady. I think I've solved the puzzle. There are, there's more brain pets running around. Lady, I'm, I hope that it didn't make this lady change when I pushed. Okay. No, no, no. She's still being annoying in this thing. So I know she's going to be just fine. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to click on the thing. The console gonna... appears dormant. Yep. Now watch this. Insert the ruin into the socket, baby. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captain or transform her like that other unfortunate? Definitely going to free her. Definitely going to free her. Place... I'm going to place my hand in the console. Mm, that didn't work last time. Last time I placed my hand on the console, it turned that lady into one of the tentacle face people. And I don't know if I have enough intelligence to, to, to Arcana right now. Take a closer look at the power-up console. 
I, I feel like I've invested so much time into this that I just I just have to do it. But also, I am a bounty hunter, and we do investigate things. And taking a closer look at the powered-up console is a form of... I'm just going to do this. Okay. Difficulty class 10. Oh, God. Okay. I've been crushing these rolls. Oh... Oh, it subtracted one. Uh-oh. Okay. That's fine. Now Nothing I'll just... in the appearance of the device betrays its purpose. It could do anything. It could even transform the occupant of the pod. Like what happened before. She's going to die. She's going to die. It doesn't matter. Like, if I leave her, she's going to die. If I transform her into a, a tentacle thing, she's just... Let's get handsy right now. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. I'm going to will the pot open. Will it open? Oh, it's two. Okay, bud. The dice god is here. Fifteen. Hell yeah. You I saved her. The biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Listen, lady, I went through a lot of trouble to get you out of that thing. Let's talk to her. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness because you have a gith with you. You keep dangerous company. Listen, I don't want to star any trouble, but the Gith Yankee lady absolutely wanted me to leave you in that thing. But let's talk about that later after we get off of the tentacle boat. Um, dangerous company is what you need in a fight. Do you got a problem with the Gith Yankee? Did you feel that just now? We're in each other's heads. You listen, I need to just go with number one. I don't think that we should be talking about our heads right now. Dangerous company is what we need in a fight. I think that's true. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. All right. All right, then. Let's get going. I'm Razor Tooth Grim. Did you feel? Okay, let's do the did you feel what I felt before. Let's just have this conversation now. It'll save us a little bit of trouble I later did. on. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. But that'll have to wait. Are we going to help each other or not? Lady, I just spent 45 minutes trying to get you out of that thing. I'm definitely going to help you. All right, let's get going. Shadowheart. One moment. Ah, she forgot a Rubik's Cube. I'm going to ask her what it is. It's nothing. Trust me. Enough okay. Of this chatter. We need to get to the helm now. She's right. Lead on. Okay. I guess. I guess we're keeping secrets today. Uh, does this tell me? Hold on. Let me hit the J button. Uh, let's see. Rescue. Oh, completed. We learned the survivor aboard the Nautilord is called Shadowheart, and she has joined us. All right. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get off this boat. Let's take a look at the M, and I think we have to turn around and go this way all right easy money baby easy money wait is this the way or no yep yeah 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 yeah. this looks like one of the two ways everybody through the sphincter please and we might have to we might have to this is not the way this is wait this is the way we came up but that's not the way to the helm is it let's go around come through the sphincter again and we're gonna go through we're gonna come in this sphincter over here there we go I think we just, I think this leads us back through. Uh, does anybody need to be healed? Because this is probably our last chance uh, for a healing thing before we enter the... We're nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. 
Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kane Yank. Okay. Ladies. The, the ladies, they're getting a little catty right now. Oh, it's an autosave. You know what? You're about to fight something in this finger. Oh! Oh, no. Wait, were these the dragon riders? Wait, the imps? I thought the imps were on this guy's side. Draw. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape. Now. Do it. We will deal with the geek after we escape. Connect the nerves. Nerves. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. I must connect the helm. Uh, reach the transponder before the Nautilus. Oh, wait, where's the transponder? Is it, uh, I guess it, it, wait, that's Lazelle. Okay. Connect the nerves of the, okay. So we got to make our way through here. All right. This is, what is this thing? That is a lesser hell's bore. Okay. Uh, we have some imps. We have some lesser hell's boars. I feel like this mind flayer is the guy that put the tadpole in my eyeball. I'm not sure why we're helping him. And that is Commander Zelk. Wait, I what is happening? Is this guy the... B All right, let's just do the quest and we'll figure it out later. All right, this is what we need to do. Who are we on right now? Okay, this is the Gith Yankee lady. Does this mean a 75% chance to hit? I don't know. I'm going to click this button. I hope that she is on her. There we go. Oh, yeah. She just rocked that thing socks off. Okay, let's go. Uh, she can still move. I, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to have her move up a little bit. There we go. Okay, my brain thing is... I mean, it's got 21 hit points. Like, it's tanky for a brain. I don't know how much damage it does. Do I have any way to see how much damage this thing does? Also, what is this ability? Oh, it's just claws. It's claws. Uh, yeah, let's just go attack that thing. Okay. Wow, it boofed that thing. Beautiful. I kind of want to get everybody too far ahead. Mind Flare is going to attack. Oh, Mind Blasted that guy. I want to be a Mind Flare. All right. Uh, we're going to stick together. We're going to stick together. I don't think we have any actions. I think actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think we can shoot this thing. Watch this. Boink from downtown. And then this lady will move up here. To keep going. There we go. And I think we're good. Wait, what just hurt me? Healing potions. Nine of twelve. She does have okay, I'll take one of these. Do I have to kill this guy or do I just have to get to this thing? 14 turns. Okay, well, I don't think we can... Let's move up here. Does she have a... Uh, okay, action, bonus action, cantrips. Uh, she does have an arrow thing. High defense, 30% chance to hit. Try it. Critical hit for four. Okay, that was good. Uh, let's send my brain pet up. We're going to keep everybody nice and tight here. Brain pet, you just chill there for a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't kill that guy. We're just, I'm going to rush the transponder. What I worry about, though, is what if that guy stops fighting the mind flare and decides he wants to fight me? All right. Everybody back to back in case the in case the demon guy decides he wants to he wants him to smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on it. Thank you. On the move. All right. Let's uh, let's keep everybody together, nice and tight, nice and tight, on the stairs with the brain pet. Beautiful. What if this guy dies? That could be a problem. That could be a problem. All right. Let's uh, move up here. Well, can I still jump? Or I cannot still jump. That would be cheating. All right. Everybody rush the. Everybody rush the thing. You up here? Seems pretty easy. Make sure there's nothing up here that's going to attack me. Hurry! The 
before they strike. Okay. Oh, we've got uh we've got we have some things up here. Uh let me shoot uh let me shoot this fellow. I think I could just left click. There we go. All right, that's fine. You stay there. Let's get the brain brain pit up uh up here. Beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's just keep everybody together. We're gonna come up here and I'm gonna make sure we have our bow on and I'm gonna finish this. Did I just shoot the body? Did I just shoot the body? I just, I think I just shot the body. I, here, shoot that guy. Can't give up. Boy, that is, that was unfortunate. All right, let's get up here. And she doesn't have a ranged weapon. What does she have? She has a firebolt. Wait, can I firebolt right now? Watch this. Ignis. Bitch, nice job. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and move up. I don't think I can make it to that guy. And I still have my bow out. Uh, shoot this. All right. And we'll bring Larry the Brain Pet up here. Beautiful. I have a feeling we're going to have to go fight that guy. Uh, let's go ahead and move up here. Before me. I still have my bow on. Finish this. Okay, that guy is down. This. And we'll bring we'll bring up here we'll bring her up here to be in front for this hell boar. Okay, thankfully we brought her out front. And is there a way? There has to be a hotkey that lets me just uh, swap. All right, let's kill this guy. Wow, gave him the one-hitter quitter. That's what I'm talking about. Tell you what, I'm going to leave her there. I wonder if the brain pet... Uh, maybe we just send the brain pet up up in case there's booby traps up here. The brain pet just seems like the most expendable. I wonder if we should double back... Ooh, that guy's at 79 hit points. Um, I'm just going to keep everybody together. Nice, tight formation here. Nice, tight formation. I have all of this stuff. I'm going to loot all of this stuff after. I'm so sorry. Wait a second. Oh boy. Wait, where are those guys? No, 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 no. Just run up and touch the thing. Make way. I think those things were coming to fight me. Alright, use this brain pet. This creature can't activate the transponder. Oh, for crying out loud. You had one job, brain pet. Alright. Here we go. The Helm's alien transponder. You made it in time. Oh, God. Drag, I am one of you, Dragon. Please. My brother, why has it come to this? Oh, I think we're crashing. I think we're crashing. Oh, we're in space. Zero gravity. Grab something. There we go. That's all you got to do. Just make sure those tentacles stay clasped. I think the tentacle's spraying. Yep. There you go. Oh. That was so stressful. I hope this is the place I'm crash landing because it looks lush and beautiful and friendly. Uh, here's some running water. Oh my God, hold up. All right, here we go.
Oh! That would have killed me. I mean, that might have paralyzed me. But it, it probably would have killed me. Okay, we did it. I think I still have a. I think I still have a, a tadpole in my head. But... As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. I probably I, listen. Step number one: you have to check yourself for injuries. A lot of times, adrenaline gets flowing. Sometimes people don't even know they've been shot because of adrenaline. So, step Other number one: infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Okay, where did all my friends go? Go to your personal chest in a camp during a long rest to find some of your unique DLCs. I did pre-order this when it first came out. Okay, we have to find a cure. Escape, okay. We uh, escaped the nautiloid. Let's see. That is completed. All right. These two are completed. Find a cure. We escaped the hells on the nautiloid. Okay. Beautiful. Guys, I didn't get the loot. There was so... Where is the... Is the nautiloid here somewhere? Because there's so much loot. What are these tentacles? These tentacles must be... Farther can I go? Okay. Oh, my God. I think we landed on a person. Oh, no. Oh, there's Shadowheart. And she still has her Rubik's Cube. I'm not going to take... I shouldn't take that. Reach for the artifact. Ah, oh, boy. I, I, I feel like I should... What if she's pretending to sleep? This is a test. She's pretending to sleep to see if I try to take her Rubik's Cube. I'm just going to wake her. I'm going to try to do the honorable thing as a charlatan. Because as a charlatan, I believe that this is a trap. And I'm not going to fall for it. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? Well, I'm hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. The nothing. Hmm. Do you have any do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place, but anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. True. What happened to our Gith Yankee friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Okay. Do you, you want to go together? I take it. We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Okay. Let's uh well let's work together. Let's work together. One thing. Just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. But you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Yeah, it was really nothing. It was only 45 minutes of fumbling around with every button I could press to try to figure out. But I got you. Not a big deal. All right, let's uh, let's go look around. Look, listen, I think there might be loot somewhere. I want to loot all of the... What's that? What do you guys think that? That must be like some... Um, uh, okay, listen, okay, well, uh, we're not going that way. Wait a minute. I just mouse something over. What is it telling me out here? It's a, it's a chasm. Okay. Listen, my alt button is down. There's nothing here to loot. Let us continue. I think we have to go this way. And the reason that I think that is because I couldn't actually find any other meaningful way forward up there. Oh, <sighs> look at this. Look at this, baby. That wooden barrel. I got water in case I get parched. I got a pouch. Anything is in here? Probably some um, healing potion. And I have a backpack here with a ruffles. I'm not putting that on. Please do not put that on me. That better not be on my head. Okay, thank you. 
All right, so there is some murgrass here. I don't know what that is for. Maybe I can craft some some potions. Oh, uh, the suspect. Oh wait, recipe unlocked. Okay, I press the uh, press the H button, but I, I don't see the recipe. What is this? Proficiency bonuses and uh, okay. How much int do I have? We need more int, guys. We need more int. And I can actually. Oh, I can level up. I can level up. Okay, I am a level two ranger now. My health has gone from 11 to 18. My class feature, I have a spell that's been unlocked. I gain, I gain so much by leveling up right now. Okay, beautiful. What does this mean? Add a class? I don't think I want to do that right now. We'll worry about that later. Okay, so we're leveling up. I get to select two spells. Here's what the question we have to answer is. What would a bounty hunting charlatan, urban tracker, uber investigator take? I don't think animal friendship is it. I know that's kind of like a ranger thing, but I'm not your average ranger. This cure wounds. Here's the problem with cure wounds. I'm going to crutch on it, okay? It's going to let me play reckless, and it's going to save me from myself. Ensnaring strike. You're at, Okay, I don't think I want that. A fog cloud. It blinds and heavily obscures. I like that. It's a little bit of a trickery kind of thing going on there. A good berry. Conjure four magical berries into your or a companion's inventory creature who eats the berries get okay uh, the name of it's a little cringe i'm gonna be honest with you i'm gonna conjure some good berries i'm gonna waste the spell on that hail of thorns the thorns deal weapon damage to the target area and then explode the explosion deals one to ten piercing i kind of like this hunter's mark mark a creature as your quarry to deal additional one to six damage whenever you hit with a weapon attack this sounds like something a bounty hunter would do an enhanced leap triple a creature's jump so does this mean i can triple my jumping distance or i can triple anybody's jumping distance long strider increase the movement speed by three meters okay or speak with the animals gain the ability to comprehend and communicate with beasts <sighs> okay so i feel like we have a couple of very strong utility choices here and we have some very strong uh, role play uh, abilities here as a ranger that's also I, I need to be able to mark I think this marking is probably going to be good and I think that I want to talk with animals I think that speaking with animals is something that, it, that a ranger would do uh, I'm going to take I'm going to take the, the speaking with animals and I'm going to take the hunter's mark I think man this is so cool the thorns deal weapon damage to the target and then explode god this sounds like fun, <sighs> but this is the, this is, this is like the, I just want to be a badass pick. This is like, I want to be in character pick, right? I mean, this jump would be nice, but I also got to believe that I'm going to have more opportunities to get more of these abilities later on. Maybe animal friendship, convince a beast not to attack you. I'm going to be honest with you. If we really want to lean into like do the animal stuff. The creature must have an intelligence of three or less. The condition ends early. If you are an ally hurts the target in higher difficulty modes, the target might become hostile when the spell ends. I feel like this is going to be useful. I'm just going to take the animal stuff, guys. I'm going to speak with the animals and I'm going to be friends with them. And uh, I think we're good. My fighting style. I kind of want to do two weapon fighting. That's the reason. Oh, wait, hold on. Archery. I don't think that I want to be an archer. Defense. Gain one plus one bonus to armor class. Dueling. When you're wielding a melee weapon that is not two-handed or versatile and no weapon in the other, you deal an additional two damage with that weapon. You can carry a shield in your free hand. I don't want to be a shield where it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you make an attack with your offhand weapon, you can add your ability modifier Jeez, I don't know. I don't know what the I don't know what the answer is here. God, I mean, archery just seems like such a meta pick, right? It seems like such an unfun meta pick. Um, two weapon fighting. You know, when I was thinking about two weapon fighting, I was actually thinking about like some battle axes or something. But it's not two handed weapons. It's just two one handed weapons. I don't know if I want to be dual wielding swords. So if I go with dueling, when you're wielding a melee weapon that is not two-handed or versatile in one hand and no weapon in the other, you deal an additional two damage. You can carry a shield. You can carry a shield in your free hand and still gain this bonus. Jeez. I 
I don't know. I guess I have to decide between weapon and shield. Like, this seems like a not great pick. This I don't want to do. So we're down to one-hander and shield or two-weapon fighting. We're going to go two-weapon fighting We're just for the memes. Let's just do it for the memes. Okay, so we're going to be the animal dual-wielding meme lord. There we go. Oh no, I have to I have to level her up too. Oh boy. Okay, cleric level up. Her health has increased to 17. Uh divinity charges, turn undead. Pray to turn I don't even know what that means. Um, okay, invoke duplicity, distract her enemies with an illusion. Uh prepared spells. What does she have? Inflict wound, guiding bolt, healing word, shield of faith. Cure wounds. Is there anything badass? Protect from evil and good. Protect an ally against the attacks and powers of aberration, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and the undead. Sanctuary. You are an ally can, cannot be targeted until you attack or harm a creature. Uh, let's see. Up to three creatures receive a minus 1d4. I just don't... I still can't understand what that means. Command a creature to flee. Move closer. Drop free. Okay. Bless. Bless up to three creatures. They gain 1d4... Okay, cure wounds. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, is this lady my companion forever, or can I just choose to like have her like sometimes? Because if if this lady is gonna be my forever companion, what I need to do is I need to build her to compliment me. I don't need to inflict wounds. Right, let's just take all these off and go through here. Shield of faith, increase armor class by two. I'm gonna need that if I'm gonna be a dual building ranger bounty hunter. I don't know if I need to protect myself against aberrations, celestials, elemental, fey, fiends, or undead. We can't be targeted until you attack or harm a creature. That's probably useful. Up to three creatures. Yeah, uh, that's going to debuff creatures, I think. Command an enemy to flee, move closer, freeze, or drop. Okay, command sounds like it's, it's good. Bless is going to buff me and cure wounds. Okay, we have to drop one of these for another healing wounds. Inflect, Guiding Bolt, and Create or Destroy Water. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to take the Cure Wounds. This is a this is a buff. This would be... Let's take this off, and let's add... I need water because I have a feeling I'm going to be on fire at some point, and that might be helpful. Oh, God, let's take this off. Okay, she's just going to be... She's going to be Classic Healing Cleric, Okay. And I think that we are, we're good here. Let's accept that. Okay. Okay. Wait, I didn't get to put any points in it. I wanted a little more int, but I guess, uh, hold on. Let's go into our inventory. I should have two weapons and melee one. Wait, what is this? This is a short sword. Proficiency with this weapon unlocks. Okay. In hand melee. Oh, I can just click this. Okay. Oh, she has the shield. Okay. Short sword. A scimitar. 1d6 one, one plus 3. I think that means that I roll one six-sided dice. So it's so like the maximum damage here would be f four to nine. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So the damage, the four to nine damage represents what the math on the dice would be. All right. This is actually making sense to me now. But I don't know... Do I want piercing or do I want slashing? Oh, dual wield. Wait a minute. What if I just dual wield axes? I think that sounds. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like a berserker ranger bounty hunter thing. R. Wait a minute. You will automatically use your bonus action to make offhand attack when using two weapons. R will toggle. Okay. Oh, I look badass. I need bigger axes and I need heavier armor. Oh my God. Is this my brain pad? No, Larry. Oh my god. Did we already loot all the okay, we did not. Listen, I just want to apologize to everybody who might be um tuning in to this for the first time or has never seen my gameplay, but there's a few things that you need to understand. Number one is that I play games wrong. Number two, I have to loot everything. I'm so sorry. Shanties for the bitch queen. Oh what? Wait a minute. I and then double click a book to read. Did that say bitch is that Ah, I'm not going to sing this for you. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and we all row with the spray upon our necks. And we all row with the spray upon our backs. And we all row with the sea beneath our feet. 
And the bitch queen says the storm stays the storm. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good. I thought there was gonna be some interesting lore there, but I think it is just a shanty. I'm gonna get this murgrass in case I need it for something. As a ranger, I think maybe I can make some potions. Did we uh did we loot this mangled fish? Did these people wait a minute? Did these people die because my boat landed on them? A perfumed letter? Wait. Is it in my inventory? Am I just missing it? I still have the bitch queen here, but I don't... Oh, there it is. I love you. There, I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again. And again. And keep on saying it until we're old and gray. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so is staying here. The last few months have been hard, and they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without the rest. And don't be late. Love, Anna. <sighs> okay, I got a bad news. I don't think I don't think he's showing up. But that might be a quest, and we can we can probably go figure figure that out. I'll, I'll go I'll go deliver the news to that lady. Uh, what do we got here? We got fish and a mug. I've discovered a waypoint. Hold on, I'm gonna click this thing. Okay. I might be able to fast travel to that now. There was a... Okay, dagger root. Alright. Belladonna. Alright. Recipes unlocked. The sublimate of Belladonna. Hit the H. Where were the recipes, guys? Uh, it told me to hit the H. Hold on. Equipment. Spellbook. Alchemy. Potions. Can I just craft? Okay, a potion of healing. Okay. Okay, so wait, this is all the stuff that I... Okay, wait a minute. Murgrass. I see what's happening here. I see what's happening. I can just make this. Touching a little of the substance to your lips, you begin to hear muffled pulses of sound. Daubs of thought. I don't know what it does. All right. Let's just keep collecting stuff. I think we... Look at that guy. I don't want to go in there because there's more Belladonna to be looted. All right, beautiful. I think we've looted all. Something the matter. Nope, I just clicked on you by accident. Oh God! Now we got to have a conversation. She's gonna ask me like where we are in our relationship. Where do I see us in a few years? Do I consider her my girlfriend? Are we, are we, uh, are we mutual right now? What's this story with the odd artifact? Let's just get this out of the way. I need some answers about her Rubik's cube. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just. Forget Thank you, you for it. your follow. Okay, chat. Could... <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I have to shut off the alert box. All right. Thank Thank you. I'm not online. I'm just trying to record with OBS. So if there's Twitch stuff going on, it's all accidental. I'll, uh, I'll do better. I missed what she said, guys. She said that I wasn't entitled to find out about a Rubik's Cube, but I'm going to disagree because I saved her from that pod. What do you think about all that's happened to us so far? We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to exactly? You must have thoughts about our little stowaways. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. We've no solid leads right now, though. We'd best get hunting. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. What will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. No reason for us not to stay together if we get on well. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Boulder's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. I feel like I'm being a little Seems bit of a creeper right now. Okay. <sighs> I feel like I'm crossing the line right now with all these questions, but from a story perspective, let's let's just let me if I need to find out. Let's just say it's a very personal, very private acquaintance. How am I holding up in your estimations? Oh god, I'm so insecure. <laughs> Come on. I'm a dragon born bounty hunter, and I'm just like, do you like me? Do you do you like me? I must admit, you've been a surprise, and not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Thank you. Thank you. 
Um, I want to talk about all that's happened. I don't think we need... We just kind of did that. We should get to know each other a little more. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. She said she's going to meet somebody. She said that it's a personal and private acquaintance. Now, she could be saying that just to, to just so I stop, you know, being a creeper. I just don't think that I should hit her with the we should get to know each other a little more. Let, let's let's just see where it goes a little more organically without forcing this weird conversation about my with my insecurities and projecting them upon her. Um, all right. We should journey separately. No, no, no. Just let's uh, let's let's leave these dialogue options and go snoop around a little bit. Cause I got a feeling there is some loot in here. Oh, these are yep. Look at this. More of those wretched things. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. This is where all my loot. Uh oh. Keep some distance, so this will be a short fight. Your turn. Okay. What am I fighting? I'm fighting uh the we're fighting the brain pets. Alright, here we go. Did I just run through that stuff? Wait, can I like waypoint myself to run around it? I guess I guess, oh I guess we can. We can just do it like that. Alright. Larry! There's no way that thing can run all the way over here and hit me at the same time. Oh, it's it's dashing. Hmm, I see. Okay, listen, pal. Oh! Okay. Uh, I don't think she can really do anything else. Ever easy. Damn! I just carved that thing up. Oh, God! Uh. There we go. Oh, jeez. So we can only attack once. Stay idle. I better kill this thing. Oh! Wait. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, come on! If a member of your adventuring party reaches zero hit points, they're down. This is the same between life and death where they roll each turn to survive. On three... I, there's just no way I'm dying to this thing. Um... Yeah, step right here and kill this thing. Oh god, she did not kill it. Do I have a health potion? Okay. Um. All right, just kill it. Why does it have so many hit points? How many hit points do I have? Fourteen of seventeen. I oh, I should have cast my cure. <gasps> okay, I just kill it this time. Oh my god. Take a short rest to recover half your hit points. Character has escaped death and is stable but unconscious. They will wake up when they regain hit points. Take a short... Okay, so... Wait a minute. How do I rest? Can control downed inventory. Party tab. Toggle group mode. Toggle group hide. Um... Short rest. I can keep going a little longer now. Okay. Easy peasy, baby. Easy peasy. All right, we back. And let's get back on. Still breathing. All right. Despite everything. That was a huge W. That was a huge dub right there. This guy has a cerebellum. I think I can use that for a potion. Ooh, 52 gold. A rapier. A uh, silver locket and a bulb of garlic. Camp supplies. Okay. Four to eleven damage. I I'm gonna keep my axes because they look cooler. What's in here? Let's go look up here. I don't know. Should I wait? Can I rest it? Okay. There's a cartoonless chest here that has a basic poison in it. Okay. Beautiful. And this guy has a potion of speed plus two to bonus to armor. Okay. Beautiful. And he has a void bulb. I'm sure we can use that for something useful. Oh, did I just pick that up and move? No, 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 no way. No way. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, Baldur's Gate people. I can pick stuff up and move it. We'll have to remember that. All right, that guy is empty. Wait, can I rest again? I must be able to rest again to get the rest of my hit points back. Uh, long rest. 
Camp supplies. Use camp supplies to regain hit points. What was this one? Go to camp. Return to your camp. Okay. Long rest. Hit points. Spell slots. Okay. Twice a day. You can restore 50% of your hit. I'm going to... What if we just do a long rest? You have enough camp supplies to restore all hit points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. We'll just sit here. Okay. General tutorial. At your camp, you can take a long rest and fully heal your party. You can also manage party members. Advance relationships with your companions, store items, and eventually change your character and recruit more followers. Okay, this sounds very useful. I... I guess I just walk, wander around with my shirt off? Am I by myself? Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna go to bed. Wait, someone... Someone in the camp wishes to speak with me. Oh, well, there is a quest up here. Oh, God, is it gonna be Lady Shadowheart? Okay, listen. You can't show up looking like this and think that I'm not going to try to put the moves on you. I have a personal chest. Use it to store items. Long rest. Okay, I'm going to talk to her, but I'm not going to be a creeper this time. You strike me as the reliable sort. But are you sure this is a good idea? When Yeah, are you sure what is a good idea? Um, there are lit fuses in our heads. Sooner or later, they're going to blow. Each hour that passes, the thing inside us grows. We need to find a healer. Let's wake up at first light. Agreed. Our top priority, fine, but it won't be easy. This is unfamiliar territory. Rushing will only land us in more trouble. I'm going to tell her this has to be our top priority. I'm going to be honest with you. This thing in my head, it is, it's a problem. Maybe we'll get lucky. We're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. We'll need our strength. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, do I need to put anything in my chest? Wait. Mark of the Shapeshifter. Healing her clothing chest. Intruder's backpack. Oh, this must be the like the DLC stuff. Shapeshift. Matches the mask. Okay, I don't need a mask. Medium toughness. All right. What do you think is in here? Camp of the Red Prince, a banjo. God damn it. Okay. I don't. I don't want to wear them. Am I about to look? Am I about to look silly? Hold on. I don't want to look silly. That's that's a problem for me, honestly. Hold on. How do I put all this stuff? Hold on. Yeah. Take that off. Put that in. Put that in in here that cape i'll take leather armor leather boots uh alchemy pouches camp supply packs here just just leave this in here uh, uh what was this one that was a speed potion some crossbows actually you know what we'll sell this stuff what is this an agati i'll take that agati and i'll put this back in all right all right all right i think we're good i think we're good I'm gonna go over here to my bedroom. Wait a minute, what's this? This is quite an elaborate, um, there we go, table type. Okay, I don't know what it does. Can I just sleep in any of these beds? Cause this one looks better than the other stone bed. Okay, I guess that one might not be mine. I, pro I probably just have one of these beds here. Go to bed. Amp supplies, auto select, and full rest. Okay. This is not the world you know. Rest feels impossible, no matter how heavy your eyes become. Every time they flicker shut, the tadpole seems to twitch behind them. Dragons, gith, and the hells themselves have come after you. Yet it is this creature that lingers in your skull. Wow. All right, focus, finding a cure that's all that matters. You have to learn to control the tadpole. You sense it can grant you powers. Baldurian intelligence, force the tadpole out of your mind. Think of home instead. Wisdom, the tadpole influences you. Perhaps you might influence it in return. Oh boy. Um, I feel like finding a cure is all that matters. I don't think that I'm smart enough to force the tadpole. I don't have enough intelligence. I have like, it's like a minus one to my intelligence role. You have to learn to control it. 
I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that finding a cure is all that matters. You will find it, no matter the cost. That's... Your life is your own. No wriggling tadpole is going to change that. Sleep claims you. Determination buoyed by gentle dreams. I can't believe we don't use a fire watch. Like, we both just go to bed next to this giant... Okay, listen, this banjo, this banjo, I cannot be seen with this thing in public. Um, how do I get the banjo off my, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, listen. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. All right, team. We are good. What, what is all this? Uh, leave camp. Yeah, get your, get your stuff, lady. We're moving. Okay, we're back to this hellish landscape. All right, let's take a look around. We're still going to do some snooping here. And that is empty. We've got some more mergrass and some belladonna here we can loot. So we can make some potions. Alchemy. That's fine. We'll do the alchemy tutorial later. Let me grab this. Perfect. Wooden trunks don't have anything in them, I'm guessing. Except for this thieves tools that I need. Perfect. Okay. Let's go up this way. Looks like we still have... I bet there's some hidden loot over here. This is like one of those little side passes. Yep. Look at that. I found some balsam. I'm going to snatch it up. There we go. Uh, Yep. The ashes of balsam. What can I make here? I can make a belladonna sublimati. What it does? Nobody knows. Hold on. Extract. Elixir of Peerless Focus. I am a literal alchemy god right now. There we go. Potion of Mind Reading. I'm gonna I'm gonna forget to use all of this. Okay, I'm running around with my Alt button down. We're gonna interact with everything that we come across here. Oh, I found a person. And hurry, I've got one of those brain things cornered. There. In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? How does he know that I killed the others? Kill it yourself. You look capable. I'll, you know what? I'll kill it for this guy. Stand back. I just rested and I feel... Yeah. Is he tricking me? This guy's tricking me. Just a dumb boar. Oh You're my relieved. god. Until you see the flash of a dagger. Yep. That's exactly... I knew it. Let's see. Put it away. You don't need to fight. If this is a robbery, you're off to a bad start. One more step and I'll make you eat that knife. Listen, let's de-escalate. Let's de-escalate. Put it away. We don't need to fight. Don't we? I saw you on the ship. Free. Scuttling about. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? Well, let me tell you about the Mind Flayer's worm. It has connected us. The worm? Of course. That explains things. Somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. All right. Apology accepted. I might have done the same if roles were reversed. Glad to see we're caught up now. You'd better have more to offer than apologies. Nope. I'm going to accept apologies. Uh -huh. A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Uh, introduce yourself. I'm a Baldurian too. Yes. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? 
Yes, they'll turn us into mind flares. Yeah, that's 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 it. That's all I know, really. Yeah, we're gonna turn into mind flares if we don't get the cure. Turn us into. <laughs> of course, it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Hmm. Control it. We need to get rid of it. You should travel with me. Our odds are better together. I need to get moving, but you can shelter at my camp. I've wasted enough time here. Farewell. I wonder what he means by control it. We do. I, I feel like maybe we don't actually need to get rid of it. Maybe we just do control it so we can become super powerful. I do want him to travel with me because the more people we have, I think the stronger we're going to be. Apes stronger together. I'm going to ask him, though, about learning to control it and hope that it doesn't do something that blocks me out of the option to have him travel with me. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. But first things first. <laughs> okay. I thought he was going to... Usually when you say first things first, you follow it up with something. You should travel with me. Our odds are better together. Okay, that's fine. You know... I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Okay. Well, listen, we're back up to three. It used to be, wait, it used to be Shadowheart, the Gith Yankee lady, and Larry, the, the brain pet, but now... I've got Shadowheart and this guy. Let's continue snooping around. I have a feeling we're probably going to have to fight something in here. It looks it looks a little fighty. I feel like we're going back into like the a mind flare. But it's hurt. Where? That thing's bound to be dangerous even if injured. Best be careful. Let's go talk to him. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Ah. Oh boy. It's forcing me to feel compassion because it's trying to increase its chances that I won't kill it. But giving into the emotion, maybe I can find out how to get rid of the tadpole. This isn't right. Step away. No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? I'm going to be honest with you. As a bounty hunter that is investigating things, I'm going to give in to the emotion to see what I can find out. The poor creature is on the brink of death, but there's still time. You'd give your life to save it, to nurse it back to health. No, nope. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Concentrate on its thoughts. I don't think I can do an intelligence roll, but we're going to try. Okay. It's just a 10. I have a minus one. Wait, add a bonus. Guidance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch this. Boop. Oh, baby. Let's go. All right, we did it. Your mind's fuse. Lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance. A vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive. And with your very body, you can provide. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Oh, God. Resist the intrusion. Submit to the feeling. Lean in as if for a kiss. I don't know. Do we want to make it... Do we want to make it weird for the memes? What if it kills me, though? Is it going to kill me? Is it going to bite me? Like, it doesn't have teeth, though. It could wrap me up in its tentacles and choke me. I feel like we need to go deeper. I'm going to I'm gonna go in. I'm going to give this thing a big old smooch. My friend, lay it on me. Get away from that thing. I know what I'm doing. It's fine. Everything is going to be fine. Warm, wet tentacles wrap themselves around your head. And for the first time in your life, you're perfectly happy. Oh, 
Wait, am I dead? Dead? Wait, so what happens now? Uh, is she gonna... We'll just rest. We'll sleep it off. A party member is in danger. Wait a minute. Got to concentrate. All right. She's going to save us. When I go. Man hand attack. Oh God. He's got so many hit points. Ow. Last much longer. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, wait a minute. Um Oh god. Oh god. That's so far back. Oh god, that means we gotta go be a Starian again. Oh, okay. Listen, this is what I get for being adventurous, right? Oh, I knew that was a bad idea. I should have known it was a bad idea, but I wanted to see what happened, and now I know and I I have regrets. Okay. Um let's leave the camp. We should have saved. We should have saved. What's the um Oh god, I've got the banjo. I can't We're just gonna drop the banjo. Just drop the banjo. Just let me just put it in here for now. Okay, there we go. Oh my God, we have to go back through. No, 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 no. Nope, everything is good. I was trying to click on. I was trying. I was just trying to loot. Thank you, though. All right, let's zoom out a little bit here. Oh. I'll take that. Well, I think we've learned some lessons here. I think we've learned some lessons. Grab the Belladonna. There we go. All right. Yeah, no, we, I was going to check out that burning bush down there. All right, let's come up here. I think there was some, uh, I think there was some stuff out here, right? Yeah. Some balsam. Man, what a big bummer. What a big bummer this is. We've definitely, we lost some, some progress here. Let's continue on. Okay, listen, it's a boar in the bushes. We're just going to go through the dialogue options real fast here. And we know now not to trust... Harry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got one of those... I know. In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Yeah. Like you killed the others? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take... I got it. It's a boar? There. Can you see it? My perception check will, will be a success. There we go. Oh! Shh, not a sound. Not if you want to keep that darling neck of yours. And you, keep your distance. No need for this to get messy. I need him alive. Stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get. Ah, promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. Now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. Uh, there's just no way this guy... There's no way I can't overpower this guy. I'm just going to headbutt him. Yeah, watch this. Boop. 14. Strength plus 3. This is why I took the strength, baby. Look at this. This guy's going to get clocked. Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <sighs> what was that? What's going on? Okay. Uh, it is the Mind Flayer's worm. worm. Of course. That explains things. Somewhat. 
And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Apology accepted. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. And I will introduce myself Is in Baldur Inn. So? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Yep. Well, they're going to turn us into mind players. To... <laughs> of course, it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Yeah, uh, I you found know, an expert. I was ready to and go he this killed alone, me. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. All right. You know, let's hit F5 and see if it saves. It does get... Oh, my God. Okay. Let's not let this guy use his mind tricks on us, okay? A mind flare. And it's hurt. All right. We're just going to kill this. We're just going to kill it. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Nah, 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 nah. Compassion? Nah, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and can't move, can't think. step away. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to no. love it. Not this time. Then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take advantage of the lamps and breaks free. The Break free. lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. We're gonna close those eyes forever. There we go. Let's loot it. Aha! Uh -huh. A potion of speed, a caustic bulb, and a void bulb. Okay, beautiful. Well, listen, we learned our lesson about trusting mind flares, and we just should never do it again. Is there anything else to loot in here? I don't think there is. Let's go ahead and look around. Ooh, dead goblins. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we do that. Nope. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. Yep. We're going to come up here. Okay, well. Wait, what? Okay. We should have looted those. Maybe we can go up and around and loot these dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a little pass over here. There we go. We'll just come back down and around. We'll see what those goblins have on them. There is a torn net trap here. Must have been here a while. Okay, so we know we have some dead goblins, and we know we have a, a torn trap there. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Look what I found. I found... I found a portal. It's an ancient sigil. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Okay. I feel like we should just touch it. What? A hand? Anyone? Grab it. Grab it. Uh, grab the hand and pull. Grab it and pull. Oh yeah, a seven. Easy peasy, baby. That's why we put all those points into strength. Look at this go. That's it. Go on. Keep I took away. all those points in strength in case I have to pull somebody out of a magic sigil. Oh. 
Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. We're usually better at this. Okay. No, no need to apologize. Are you okay? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. Hmm. I was. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Uh, go on. The insertee we speak of, this parasite. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? None of the you above. You to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. No. I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites, I'm afraid not. Let me hit him with the ranger dialogue choice. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. You are welcome to join. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Okay. There we go. Somebody leveled up. Wait a minute. How do I go in here? How do I how do I level other people up? That's the real question. Oh, I can just click on this thing. So Astorian, level two rogue, health increased. Uh, I guess we just, I, he just doesn't get anything cool at level two, I guess. We'll just accept it. Congratulations on your extra health. And this guy is a wizard specialization available. Okay. Subclass evocation. Is that a, I don't know. Should I change it or not? Evocation is savant. Sculpt spells. Creates pockets of safety within your evocation. Allies automatically succeed their saving throws. So can I just make this dude anything I want? Enchantment, divination, illusion, abjuration. You twist and harden to weave into arcane wards to protect yourself. So this is like some warding stuff. My subclass feature. Uh, arcane ward. Evocation. I don't know what this spells. Hold on. Do, hmm. There's just so many things here. Is it all the same? Uh, hold on. Necromancy spells. Okay, so I... Conjuration. Came two spells. I think it's all the same spells. But transmutation, illusion, divination. You peer through time itself and scope the future like temporal clay into a more favorable form. I I don't know. I don't know what any of these do. I mean, I know what necromancy does. Conjuration, maybe maybe I, I can call forth the rain. Okay. Transmutation. Experimental alchemy. I can brew two alchem alchemical solutions instead of one when combining extracts. We've seen a DC 15 medicine check. Okay. Illusion. Minor illusion. I don't know what it does. Wait. Coming. Hold on. Learn illusion spells from scrolls called past as much. Okay. 25 gold. I don't know. I don't know what's good. Enchantment. Hypnotic gaze. Uh, I guess he was learning necromancy spells from scrolls only. Okay. So all it does is allow me to learn necromancy spells from scrolls. So the, so the gain spells are like a shared pool. But the necromancy spells I can learn. It only costs 25 gold per spell. Okay. This doesn't seem so bad. I want to pick something that sounds fun. I, I mean, I feel like illusion. Let's see. Fabric of reality full of the unwary, the gullible, and the monstrous. Learning illusion. Hmm. Sculpt the future. 
with divination enchantment bends the will and conviction of those around you i don't know all right we're just gonna keep we we'll just keep this we'll just keep this let me look at the spells okay burning hands charm person uh chromatic orb three to 24 thunder damage Three to 18 fire damage. Color spray blinds the creatures up to a combined 33 hit points. Magically change all aspects of your appearance. Expeditious retreat. Gain dash immediately as a bonus. False life. Gain tevin, sorry, seven temporary hit points. Feather tail. We gain immunity to fall damage. Find familiar, summon a familiar. Ice knife, throw a shard of ice. Enhanced Sleep. We already know what that one is. Long Strider. We know what it is. Magic Missile. Shoot three magical darts. Okay. Protection from good and evil. I still don't know what that does. Ray of Sickness. Possibly poisons the target. A Shield. When you're about to be hit by an enemy, increase your armor class by five. You take no damage from Magic Missile. And Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Leave a creature prone with laughter without the ability to get up. The creature must have an intelligence of five or more. Try to shake it off. And we could do is what's the one not this one abjuration this would be a protection one evocation yeah yeah yeah. okay i'm gonna take things that sound like uh go with what the bounty hunter let's take charm person are there limitations on this one condition ends early okay and what was that other one i don't know what this one does let's take those two they sound like fun and the spells that... Whoa, wait a minute. Prepared spells. Grease. Cover the ground and ground grease. Okay, that's good. Thunder weave. I don't think we need. Sleep. I'm going to keep. Witch bolt. We're going to get rid of. Mage armor. Get rid of that. Okay, so what I want to do is take charm person. Okay, we're going to take grease. That's going to give us... What is this one? Fog cloud. Okay, so the grease is going to slow creatures down. Charm. Sleep. Wait, these are enchantment spells. If we would need to be... Let's do this. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. Where were those two? Charm person and laughter. So these are these are both enchantment spells, right? Are these all enchantment spells? They're not. That's an illusion spell. Okay, so I think pink is enchantment. All right, here we go. So enchantment subclass, our two spells that we've chosen are charm person and this laughter one because it sounds hilarious. Take all of these off. We're going to add Fog Cloud. We're going to take just take the pink ones. There we go. That's not a pink one, though. Okay. And we'll take the Grease. The Grease is the Conjuration. All right. So was there any... Evocation. Evocation. Enchantment. 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 Conjuration. Conjuration. Abjuration. Okay. So I got it. Fog Cloud and Grease for Battlefield Control. And then we have three that look like they might be some form of crowd control. So that's good. Boom. We, like, Gale is going to be the enchantment genius right there. Okay, perfect. Let's F5 to save in case we decide to make some bad decisions. And let's go check out these dead goblins. Aha. Uh -huh. Potion, goblin bow, and a supply pack. What's this? Looks like an awesome... A goblin scimitar. I love it. I might wheel. I might try to wield those. We got a hand axe and a bone. You never know when a bone is gonna come in handy. Okay. All right. So I don't know. I don't know where to go right now. There is a dead mind flare. I don't know if we've looted all of this. Let's go check. Let's go check in on this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we've already been here. Yeah. We have not. This guy had a spike bulb and a void bulb. Okay. I'm saving again. Hold on. Can I short rest right now or no? I'm going to short rest. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Abducted nobleman. Uh, empty. Do we do we loot all this already? I don't even know. This guy's got loot. This guy's got loot and I'm going to get it. There we go. Okay. He has a skull. The barbs inside. Explode. Okay. I have so many throwables that we have to remember to use these in combat. And I think everything else, this guy up here is empty. Okay. So let's go ahead and continue on. Oh, yeah. We've emptied all of these commoners. All right. We're at the Ravage Beach. And we've clicked on this ruins up here. And if I remember correctly, there was like some city gates here. 
Let's go ahead and enter. This is an ancient door. These are not city gates. You can use your thieves tools to pick a lock or you can find its key. Do we really, do I, oh gosh. Do I want to use my thieves tool on this? I'm going to pick it. There we go. Oh my God. It is a, it's a 20, but I get sleight of hand, dexterity and thieves tool. I think we can do this. The dice God strikes again. Okay. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Okay. I wonder if we can just disarm this trap. No trap disarm tool. All right. Just don't anybody step on the trap. Okay. Step carefully. Oh God. Better be careful not to trigger that thing. Okay. Nobody touch the traps, please. What do we got? Polish ring. Bone. Yo, we about to loot the shit out of this place. Ooh, let's go, baby. Ring mail armor. Wait, can I wear that? That looks so cool. So no AC bonus from Dest. Okay, I'm not proficient. I'm not proficient with it. I wonder what that means. Like if I put it on, how is that gonna impact me? So how do I see? Okay, armor class is 13. Movement speed is 9. So if I put this on, using this armor will increase your armor class, but your lack of training will give you disadvantage on some rolls and stop you from casting spells. Okay, that does not sound great. Okay, let's put this stupid tunic back on and see if we can find something better. Okay, and look what I found. Oh, there is this a, there's this a trap here. I really want to open that because... Oh, there's a... Hold on. There's a button over here. Hold on. Everybody stand back here. I'm going to go press this button. Be careful. Yeah, everybody there just... Traps about. Wait. Oh. Okay. I think we're okay. Ooh, a Warhammer. Okay, perfect. There was a trap here. Gargoyle head. Okay. Okay. I kind of want to click this thing. Let's read the plaque. The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. Okay. I'm going to click it. I don't... I think we've... Wait. Anything of use? How do we miss this chest over here? Oh, yeah, baby. Arrow of ice. A greasy bottle. A torch. Trap disarm toolkits. Okay, perfect. Wow, I can't believe we missed that. Okay, so I am able to disarm the trap here. You get, you know the good loot. Good loot is in here. I'm just gonna click here. All right, and okay. I don't, I don't think I need a bonus, right? Like this, this should be pretty easy. Easy money, baby. Easy money. Open it up. And the Watcher's Guide. What is it? Wait. I have no idea. What, what am I? What am I? Engrave key. Is this a spell? Wait. Proficiency, proficiency with this weapon. It's a weapon. Why does it not tell me? Why does it not tell me what the weapon actually is, though? Oh, it's a spear. Can I dual wield it? Do I have proficiency with this weapon? Problem is I'm a dual wielder, though. Can I, um... No. No. Come on. I'm a, I'm a dual wielder. It's fine. We'll find some cool... We'll find some cool, like, uh, one-handed weapons to use. Okay. So this door actually has hit points. Okay. I guess we could just click on it and open it. Okay, so there's opulent chests in here. This is obviously a trap. Nobody just leaves these unguarded. Nobody walk in the center of the room. Just stay on the sides like this. Silver necklace, beautiful. 100% a trap in here. 10 gold. The 
gilded chest. Cup. Plate. Install all that later. There's a book over here on death and resurrection. An excerpt from Ongoing Meditext, rebound by Iosepha Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier for her her heretical efforts to reconstruct the Meditext, her god's annal of lost and hidden knowledge. Of what value is life? Far too esoteric a topic to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages, surely, or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiment so often clouding our assessment, it's clear that across all spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have a quantifiable value. It is simply that not all are equally valuable. Consider, we already know that the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending planar barriers in search of a resting place that best befits our deeds beliefs and station in life. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. Lord Kevelmore weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to other gods, empowering them in turn. There is, of course, an alternate route. Not the end of the path, but the chance to retread it. Clerics across the realms wield the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange, then, that these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy enough for the components for such a spell are beyond the means of most mortals. I have interviewed those who have made such a return and in truth have found them to be the most dull and unimaginative sort that I can possibly imagine what it is they are so eager to return to. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking upon it oneself. Perhaps one day this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path and wealthy enough to return. Wow. It's true. And it's true. Wait, did I loot it or just read it? Uh, I would like to take this book with me. I would like to pick it up and add it to my wares in case uh, I... Wait, I would like to... I would I would like to... I would like to pick this up and take it with me. There we go. Beautiful. I'm going to add it to my collection. We have a torch. And I happen to believe that that torch is probably going to be some type of puzzle that we're going to need to solve. Some heavy oak doors here. We use the engraved key that we've located. And we have an entombed scribe here. This is looking... Okay, don't walk in the middle. We have a gilded chest. This guy has a dagger. Okay. Take all these cups. No way there's not a boss in this room. There's just no way there's not a boss. Look at this. I found a scroll of the burning hands and a quarter staff. Uh huh. There are some empty graves here. Someone must have beat us. Learning spells. Who needs to read all that? That's a door right there. Let's uh, let's loot everything in this main room, and then we'll open more. Okay, we find another heavy key and another dagger. Scrolls. Okay. I'm going to take a shortcut here. I didn't think anyone worshipped the scribe of the dead. Let's check this plaque. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. Okay. We have a few more people to loot here. Entombed warrior. Standard scimitars. And hold on. I want to go up and around and loot this uh, scribe up here. One of them has to have something good on them. But not that. It's just not that guy. Oh, wait a minute. These vases, they're lootable, but they don't light up. It might be because there's nothing in them. Okay. Let's go check down below. I'm going to scour every inch of this, this place. See? Look at this. That vase right there is probably got something in it. Probably a key. But also could be nothing. Doesn't seem to be any type of levers or anything that we could pull down here. So we're going to go up and around this way. This is, um, see, this is where they hide the button. This is where they hide the fun button. I'm going to push this button. Okay. 
Did it just resurrect all the people I looted? Well, joke's on them. I have all their stuff. They don't have any weapons. Oh, no. Uh... Is there loot in here? Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Um, I don't know. Should we come in the room? I feel, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to, we're going to come in the room. We're going to do, we're going to do like a classic, uh, everybody just get back to back in here. I don't know though. Maybe getting us all in tight quarters is not the play. Maybe we should seize our, our advantage here. How many of them do we have? And how many hit points? Uh, 28 hit points. It seems like so much. Just that one guy has 28 hit points. I feel like we should probably just kill the the people who don't have a lot of hit points first. Any chance that I can shoot this guy? Disadvantage? Target is outside. All right. Uh, hold up. Come down a little further. Now we should be able to yoink this dude. 50% chance. Let's just try a quick arranged attack just to soften him up a little bit. There we go. Uh, I think that's the, the best we can do there. I have no idea what this guy can do. Does he have any spells? He does have a fireball. Sneak attack. Sneak. Okay. What does this do? Cunning action. Disengage. Wait, what? Retreat safely. Okay. He does have a bow. And 30% disadvantage. Target outside range. Okay. Let's come down. No! I just wanted to walk down the stairs, my guy. Okay. You're just just stop everything you're doing. Uh, let's uh, who is this? This is I don't know what this guy does. Okay, let's try not to shoot anything at the floor. Okay, so he does have a firebolt. Is this guy like us? Is this saying it's outside of the range or is he like on it? I'm gonna firebolt this dude for six damage. That seems like a weak ass shit. All right, let's stand there and then uh let's go ahead and bring her down she's gonna probably have to tank for us and she doesn't have any range attacks on her what does she have oh she does have a firebolt wait can we only use this firebolt once per day okay cool well that was our one okay this guy's gonna die she's almost dead these guys are gonna have to waste a turn i think running to us wait what did that guy just okay that's fine i don't even think we have any spells left if these guys come down here, I'm going to rock them. I'll rock them in melee. How long does the silence last? Oh, God. Why is there so many of them? Uh, oh, sir. <sighs> Hold up. An ally is with melee dis distance of an enemy. I'll let you sneak attack. Okay, who is that? Hold on. Who, who am I on right now? Oh, I'm on me. Um, I'm going to go melee, and I'm going to come rock this dude. 55% to rock this dude. What are my other options? Dip. Dip a weapon to the surface to alter. Oh, no way. Once per turn. I got I to gotta imagine dipping. Wait a minute. What is this? Offhand attack melee. Lacerate. Slash at their vital point. Okay, they're undead. I want to try this. I want to dip my weapon. Must be a dippable, sir. Okay, well, we're not going to do that. All right, we're just going to come down here, and we're going to just destroy this guy's booty. Okay. I thought it was going to be a lot more destruction. Okay. That's all we can do. Let's turn someone inside out. Okay. So can I uh, sneak attack? I don't think I can sneak attack him, right? Like, is this... Let's do it. Oh, got him. Okay. I don't know if that was, act was that actually a sneak attack? Can I still shoot anybody or, or no, it does not seem that I can. Okay. This guy is at 10 of 14 hit points. God, what an act. This guy is actually useless. Like I wait, is it because I'm silenced? Okay. I'm silenced. That's why I can't use my spells. I don't, I don't have anything I can do right now. What can I do? Charm and incapacitated creature. I, I does that even work against undead things? Okay, but I'm also silenced. Um, what is this? Arcane recovery? Nope. Uh, shove, jump, dip. We're not in a dippable service. Uh, surface. We're gonna learn that. Okay. Okay. We're pro okay. I, I guess we're gonna end turn and hope we don't die here. And. 
Not enough movement. I'm going to get her out front and hope that they try to attack her. Let's try, asshole. Oh, God. Okay, we got to get out here. These guys... We should have just went in the room. We should have just went in the room, guys. Oh, my God. Okay, here's the problem. We can't run out there and... We can't go out there and fight them. I have to drag them into the room. The, the other problem is we can't actually move far enough to be able to do that. Can I climb up this thing? I... I, I uh, yes. Hold on. This counts as an action, right? If I do... Let's do this. Okay. And now I'm going to climb up here. This is what we're going to do. I have a new plan. Okay. Well. Can I even hit this guy? I can hit this guy. I'm going to shoot that guy for six. And the next round, I'm going to stab him. Okay. He's not doing so well. I'm going to I'm gonna chug a potion. How far can I move? Lordy. Not that far, guys. I, I just can't move. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. Shoot that guy. Okay. Beautiful. And then you know what? I'm going to move. I'm going to I'm just going to have him move back. Okay. A tail for the ages. So this guy still can't actually do anything useful. How far can he can he move? I really don't want to send him out there. He's he's injured. I'm going to pull him back. I'm going to I'm going to pull him back. Just move back. And Oh shit, his thing. Oh, wait a minute. Is the silence just the circle? It's not on Oh my god, I maybe I think I could have walked out of that circle and still done just anything useful. All right. Um six hit points. I'm gonna send her out here to kill this guy. We're gonna kill this guy? Oh, for 12. Eat it, buddy. Wait, maybe she is still silenced. What does this thing do? Um Shield of Faith. We probably could have used some shields and things. I didn't realize that the mm. three damage. Nobody cares about that. That's fine. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Is the aura on her? I don't I don't know how this works. Okay, bud. Okay. Can I make it to this guy and stab him? 80% chance to shoot him. I'm just gonna shoot this guy. Okay, that guy's that guy is dead AF. Um, and then I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide over here. I don't think I'm going to get hit for 13. Okay, perfect. 95% chance to hit this guy. There we go. For eight. You'll love to see it. And we're going to stay here. And then we're going to move up here. And then I'm going to find something to shoot this guy with. I think one of this. Right here. We're going to finish this guy off. I'm going to Ignis that guy. Gale. I've never been so disappointed. Okay. Uh, we're going to come hit this guy. Concentrate and okay, good, good, good. Four damage left. Okay, that guy missed. That was huge. Oh, that guy turned his back to me. I slapped him. Okay, this is this is it's all over with the crying right now. High ground, ninety percent chance to hit. Good night. That was clean. That was very clean. Uh, let's go ahead and save. And everybody back down. Everybody back down. We just all climbed up here. And these guys are all empty. Okay. Perfect. Let's go ahead and come in here and get our loot. That is easy. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Uh-huh. Heavy chest. Open it up. Bada bing, baby. The amulet of lost voices. Level three necromancy spell. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to remember that when we get a necromancer. And here we go. This is my loot right here. It's going to be like an enchanted one. Listen, my party is full. I think my party is full. I don't know how many more. Oh, we should have healed. We should have healed. We should have known it was a necromancer. We looted the necromancer amulet. Oh, God. Maybe it's friendly. It doesn't look friendly, but we can't judge it. 
So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right, as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Ha! Joke's on you, I read your book. This is probably the person that read the book I read. Quite the question, what's the reason? I don't want to answer a question with a question. So he has spoken. What he are you talking about? I'm a little spooked by crawling out of the tomb. What are you? A peaceful undead. Interesting. Why aren't you attacking me? I don't want to tell him I'm spooked because I can't show fear. I don't really want to ask him what's the reason for the question. I'm going to hit him with the number two, the number two special. So he has spoken. What he are you talking about? An arbiter of certain matters, but that is not important now. Wilt thou answer my question? Yes. Yes. So I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? No one life is more than the other. We are all equal. That depends on a person's deeds. Life only, life's only value is currency. It doesn't matter. Each life is an infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for. The only life that matters is mine. It depends on the mortal. So the answer in the book that we read was that some lives are worth more than others. Which I don't know what answer most specifically is the response. It depends on the mortal. And life's only value is as currency. It doesn't matter to me otherwise. Depends on a person's deeds. So the book said that all people are not valued equally because only the people who are wealthy can afford to be brought back from the dead. But I don't know if that means that life's only value is as currency. Like when we think about a, a, a person, a life being currency, that's more slavery than it is uh, wealth. Mm. It's definitely not number one. I don't think that it's number two. I don't think that it's number four. I don't think that it's number five. It could depend on the mortal if we're saying that the mortal... Wait, depends on the mortal. Mm. I'm going to hit him with the number three. I, I think I'm wrong, but I'm going to hit him with the number three. Life's only value is as currency. Now, I'm going to say it depends on the... <sighs> Depend. Mm. Number three, final answer. To some, it is the only. Very well. I am satisfied. The Baldur's Gate three God strikes we again. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. How does the kid do it? How does the kid do it? What else was in here? I'm going to take his things. A soul coin. They power infernal engines. Let's hang on to that in case we run across an infernal engine. We have some malachite. We have some wood bark. Elixir of bark skin. And we have a sylvan stone. Beautiful. It's just everything that I came for. Okay, I don't think there is anything else here to loot. These are probably all going to be empty. I bet one of these actually has something in it. Like that's the trick. You put in like a thousand empty vases as a game as a, as a game designer, and then one of them, what? It's this one right here. This little one. It's the easy to miss. Okay, I just looted it. I'm just gonna take it with me. I'm not gonna talk to this guy anymore because I feel like we've we've answered his question and uh, we're good to go now. 
I'm going to do a short rest here so that we can uh, recover our hit points. There we go. All right, team. I feel like this has been a massive W. A massive W. Wait, is, what is this? Are we going out of the... Oh, what do we find here? It's like a little cave. Okay, there's sunlight that way. You, every time you find a little path like this, you know... Oh, yep, look what I found. I found a lever, and I found a ladder. Wait a minute. Everybody stand clear. Stand, please, I'm not trying to talk to you guys. I would just like to pull the lever. Thank you. All right, and... Are we sure that there's nothing else we can loot in here? Like, we can't cross this little path right here, right? There's some secret loot up there. Okay, so this is an iron ladder, and it's probably going to take us back to the surface. And we're at the chapel entrance. Was that the chapel that we were just in? Is that what that's considered? Okay. And we have the hatch there. Okay. So where are we now? I think I can climb the knotted roots. Uh, some balsam here. Okay. And it looks like we are at some type of city. Okay. We're at a city. Water. Okay. We've looted everything down there. Wait. Maybe it's not a city. Maybe it's like a ruins of some type. I think we were already over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Rogue's Morsel. What is that? And grab that. Unlock the the salts of the rogue's morsel. That sounds delicious. Okay. I think we actually have completed everything down there. I don't think there's anything to loot. Let's come into this city right here. Chapel entrance. Twisting vines. Okay. Let's go ahead and save real quick. There's somebody talking up here. Just... Being careful, like my mum always said. I guess think, okay. Taman and Gimbalbach. Well, there's a plaque. You're both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we stop. Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. I mean no harm, just looking around. The ship is full of monsters. I wouldn't go near it. I think that ship's an invasion force. Run while you can. The only thing you own is your life, Link, before I take it. Hmm. The ship is... In okay, persuasion, deception. I think that I have some powers of deception. I'm not... in. I'm not entirely sure that I'm good at intimidation, even though I have a lot of strength. Maybe that's my intimidation stat. I don't really want to attack these guys. They haven't done anything. I'll tell you what, I'm going to say I mean no harm. I'm just looking around, and uh, let's just take it from there. First you look, then you touch, then you take. The only thing we're sharing with you is our pointy ends. Get him! Wait, what? My guys, please. Please, this is... Oh, God. Okay. Um, fine. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, let's get let's get up here. And how many hit points? 18 hit points and 20 hit points. Let's go ahead and shoot this. Is that 65% mean like... Is that's got to be the hit chance, right? What is this? Sneak attack. Wait, can I just... Must have an advantage. Okay, I guess that's not it. Hamstring shot. I'm just going to shoot this guy. Yoink. Okay. That was a little less yoinky than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Uh, Do I have, like, any way that I can... Wait, can I jump? So jump is a bonus action, right? So I can jump into every battle. So I can just... Can I just jump in? Or is this just for jumping across things? It's... Okay, throw... What is this? Disengage. Lacerate. Offhand attack. Animal friendship. Those will not help me. I think what we're going to do is go ahead and switch to my melee weapons and... Not enough movement to get to you. I'll just fuck this guy up. 
Yo, 14 damage. God. Talk to me. Beautiful. Uh, she is probably not gonna have enough movement speed. Let's send, let's send her up here though. And uh, you know what? It's probably not worth using any of her abilities. And then this guy, can I just fire a bolt and kill this guy? 65% chance to, to hit him. 60% chance. Do I have any idea how much damage it's going to do? 1d10. So I can do up to 10 damage. So I can kill this guy Ignis. with an Ignis, just like that. Oh, God, I'm so sorry, buddy. I, 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 I didn't want this. I just wanted to chat. I should have told them that ship was unsafe. I was just trying to talk to these. Oh, wait a minute. Quailana is up. Oh. oh, there's four of them. I thought there was only two. Oh, God, we've been acided. I can't believe this. Oh my. I thought it was a 4v2. Um, okay. So listen. I need you. Not enough. Wait a minute. Not enough action points. Jeez. All right. I'm going to try something. Here. I'm going to jump over here. And then I'm going to try to come up here. Oh my God. I can jump and hit her too. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. Um, that's fine. Oh boy. Okay. This guy is still got 20 hit points. I don't think we're going to be able to dogpile her. He is not, he's not going to be able to get there. Gale is snoozing. Okay. This is a bit of a problem. Wait, how many hit points does this guy have? 17. I'm on the low ground. Wait, my chance to hit this guy is 60%. All right, I'll try it. Beautiful. Okay, I am currently poisoned. Can I do that dip thing right now? Maybe I can dip, dip, dip. Which which one's the dip, guys? Bonus actions. Offhand. Main hand. I probably should take one of these. I probably should go ahead and move out of the poison. That, oh, that's going to... Oh, I have to stand in the poison... And main hand attack, last rate. Slash at your targets and make it bleed for two turns. I feel like that's helpful. Can I just last rate this guy? Okay, beautiful. I'm still standing in the poison. No, I, I don't. I, I can't move because he's this guy's going to attack me. All right, he's bleeding for two turns, but he's got 13 hit points. This sucks. Okay, Quailana, she just uh, tried to shove me. I don't know why this guy's hamstring. Ow. Okay. Uh, we're going to shoot this guy again. That's a good hit. That guy's almost dead. And... We should be able to kill that guy. No, he's only got two hit points left. We're going to just use a regular main hand attack on this guy. He's got 11 hit points. Okay. So that sucks that I missed. Also, I cannot heal myself, which is a bit of a bummer. And I still can't move because I'm going to get attacked. Okay. And then she, if she heals me, does that provoke an attack? I mean, this is, she just has like quarter stab. It can't be that bad, right? I don't want to die, guys. I'm afraid of dying. That does provoke an attack of opportunity. Okay. That's fine. Then just do this and hit this lady in the face real hard. Okay. For five, I was thought, I thought it was going to be a little more. Very underwhelming. Okay. Okay, critical miss. Okay. The other guy is awake now. He's done with his nap. Oh, God. Okay. We should be able to finish this guy. 60% chance to hit him. Yoink. Critical hit. That guy's dead. Like you read about. This guy's got one hit point left. I'm going to hit him with the old one, two. Okay. Okay. That's not the one, two that I was talking about, but here we are. And we're going to stand here because anything else gets us whacked. He, we're well, going to go ahead and bronzy chase Quailana up the stairs here like this and give her the old, oh, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, she's, there it is. Okay. And last but not least, Gail, hey, thanks for joining the battle, my friend. Welcome aboard. What I'd like you to do is just stab this guy and then, what?
Son, I am disappointed. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Can somebody please just kill that guy right there? Oh, God. That was some XCOM levels of bullshit that was just happening, but we did it. We did it. Okay, here's what I need. I need everybody to not step in the in the poison, please. All right. Oh my was that was was I gonna fall in that? Let's move over. What? No 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 no. Watch this. Silly game. Nice try. Man. Maybe I should have gone down there. Hold on, let's rest real quick. I don't have any long rest. I don't have any short rests. Go to camp. Camp supplies, 256. You know what? Maybe we should long rest. I feel like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do a long rest right here. Because it's been a long day. That fight was very stressful. And all of us are just standing around now half naked. Another step forward. And my guess is I have to talk to all of my people. Hello, Astarion. So, not a tentacle to be seen. Uh, okay. I'm still hoping it'll stay that way. Naturally. But I was thinking, what if it doesn't? Is he a vampire? Of course. First sign of change. And I'll have to stop that pretty little heart of yours. Hmm. I am open to suggestions. Knives, poison, strangulation, whatever you'd prefer. Okay, I'd prefer not to die. A knife, that seems quick. Poison sounds painless. Try it and I'll spill your guts. Not sure. How would you like it to go? I'm going to ask him how he would like to kill me. Because that's weird. I don't think poison is for me. Nor stabbing, come to think of it. I always felt decapitation was a fine choice. Why is he saying like that? Swing and then nothing. <laughs> but we were talking about you. What will it be? If I had to choose, I'd want the knife. Hmm. Jeez. I, I, I don't have to choose. Listen, this is, this is depressing. And I suppose we'll just see what happens. Don't worry, darling. I like you. I'm sure I'll make the right choice. Okay. All right. Well, good chat. Good chat. Let's see who else is around. Who's over here? All right. We have this Gale. We have... Get, he's just chatting with himself. Let's talk to this one. You good? You good, buddy? Be with you in a moment. What are you doing? Indulging in a spot of vanity. Handsome devil, aren't I? Be that as it may. Theramorphosis. What does it make you think of? First and foremost, that damn tadpole. Until quite recently, nothing at all. If you're about to start a lecture, I would just say first and foremost, that Spot tadpole. On. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Need to go on? Uh, no. No, I'm good. My point is this. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree this is abnormal. Long live the abnormal. Can you explain why the symptoms aren't showing? That, alas, is where my knowledge fails me. A rogue might call it luck, a priest might call it fate. As for myself, I'm a pragmatic. I see the silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. Okay. Let's see. Let's go talk to uh, Shadowheart. Where is she located? Uh. Oh. Wait, Withers is at my house. What? We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. 
Not to be rude, but what are you? What kind of services can a skeleton offer? Care to explain why you're helping me? I'd prefer if you'd leave. Uh, what are you? There are many answers to that question. None are important. Okay. Skeletons aren't supposed to be able to talk. Correct. Are you going to explain further? No. What kind of services can a skeleton offer? A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. That actually sounds very useful. That's incredibly powerful magic. Why is it so easy? Because it is my calling. There is little else to explain. It's being so coy. You mentioned a cost. What is it? A matter of coin wow let's see can you help me change my class no 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 that's not what i need uh that's fine that's fine thank you good good chat good chat withers this strange wraith commands many powers he allows you to resurrect allies hire help and change your class for a price okay i don't think anybody wants to change their class let's come talk to shadowheart i couldn't help but over here well all right, I could have helped, but didn't. Anyway, I feel the same. Other than the occasional mental exchange, it's almost as if we're not infected. The voice on the ship told me I'd become a beautiful weapon. What do you think it meant? Wow, anything's possible. It sounds like it had plans for us. Could have been a hallucination. Maybe it's a compliment. Uh, let's see. It sounds like it had plans for us. Whatever they were, those plans were interrupted by the dragons. Either way, we can't take the lack of symptoms for granted. We have to find a healer. Well, I've said my piece. Get some rest. Is she covered in blood all the time? I'm confused. I'm confused or... Hold on. I'm going to put my banjo in here. Wow, we have a lot of stuff. Um, Where's my banjo? Yeah, let's just keep my banjo in there for now. Everything else is is fine. We'll probably just have to sell a bunch of stuff. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go take a, a little nappy here. Camp supplies, auto select, and let's rest. Uh oh. Okay. Was that guy just sneaking around? All right, how do we get out of here? All right, let's go ahead and leave the camp. Okay. All right, let's try not to fall in the hole. Where are all the bodies at, though? We might have to jump in that hole. Uh, let's loot Kailana. What does she have? 15 gold, quarterstaff, simple robe, and talus. Divination without the magic. I'll read that a little later. I gotta get this dragon egg mushroom so I can make some potions. Okay, perfect. We'll have to do a little crafting in a little bit. All right, she's been looted. We never read the plaque down here. I would prefer not to run through the poison if we can if we can try. There we go. Time and the elements have left the plaque unreadable. Okay. So we got this guy up here that we still need to loot. Let's have a look. I don't know if I can Well, is there anything in here? Okay, don't move it, just loot it. Alright, there's nothing in there. I might have to jump in that hole, honestly. I think I was supposed to fall in that hole. Uh, what do we got here? And a leather armor, which I think I'm, I'm already wearing one of those. There's a couple of boxes down below. There's a doorway out of there. Hold on. There we go. We have a backpack and a burlap sack. This is their... This is the people that we just murdered. This was their camp. And some trap disarm kits. Okay, perfect. Uh, I think we looted... Oh, this burlap sack. We got some gorgets. Let's grab those gorgets. And there is a door down there. I don't I don't know. I don't know if I can jump in this hole or not. Did we just jump down there? Aha! Holy shit! 
Uh. Okay. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Listen, this is. There's so many people. There's so many people. I don't know the best thing to do right now. I need like I need some type of AOE. I I, I don't know if I need to use my firebolts. I don't know if I need to position myself like behind cover. I don't even know if the bed provides cover. I feel like what I need is wait. See actions. Uh, we could uh I could just start blasting. 55% chance to ignis this guy. That was three damage. I think we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and move. I'm gonna move over here. I don't think there's much else that we can do there. Worth the cost. Okay. Uh, I am going to move myself up here move. to be at the front. I don't know if movement to get to him. Damn it. I should have acid breathed through the door. I'm not certain there's anything. This sucks. I kind of wasted. Wait a minute. Disadvantage 36%. Okay. That's fine. What do they have in there? Nice try. This is what we have to avoid is these guys plinking me through the... Uh, like, we just... I'm going to try to draw them back into this room. Okay. The other thing that we could do... I think we have this grease, right? What I'd like to do is draw them into the room and grease them here. And then beat them up. So... Let's bring you maybe over here. I don't know if it's worth... I don't know if if I grease this, will they not walk into it? Should I wait till they walk into it and then grease them? Can they see the grease? Would they try to avoid the grease? I really have no idea how the grease works, but... Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay. I've got bad news about the grease. We're going to be... Is, mm. If I grease here, will it go through the door? Also, if I grease here, that means my character is going to have to step in the grease to try to hit people. I feel like the grease is a mistake. I feel like it's a mistake right now. Let's hold off on the grease right now. I'm going to get her on the other side of the door. That way I can attack anybody that comes through the door. I wonder if we should buff ourselves. Sacred flame. Engulf the target in a flame like radiance. I think I have... I think I have shield of faith. Protect a creature from a... Uh, how long does it last, though? Does it tell me how long it lasts? Here. I'm going to buff... There we go. Shield of Faith, I guess. Let's stay right here. If somebody... Okay. Come to... Oh, there was an exploding barrel there. Okay, buddy. That guy's... These guys are so screwed. That guy just raged. I don't know what that means. He might be like a barbarian or something. Okay. We're ensnared. I don't... I don't really care. I don't know who the... I don't know who the best target is here, but I'm going to try to kill uh, Sefri. Critical hit for 11. E shit, Sefri. I also think that we need to maybe move because we're going to get targeted by everybody. Pile of books. We'll loot that later. Oh, God. I don't have a place to... Wait, 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 wait. Watch this. Jump? Wait, is that... Is this the distance that I can jump? All right, that's fine. Watch this. I'm going to jump here. And then I'm going to move over here. There we go. Beautiful. Go from here. Now, uh, I'm going to switch to my weapons. And I'm going to bleed this guy. He's got 25 hit points. So I'm going to lacerate this guy. Okay. I wish I had done more damage to him. But he's fully lacerated now. Uh, can, wait, do I get another attack? There we go. Okay. 19 to 25 damage. And he appears to be bleeding. I'm not going to move. I'm just going to chill here. And I don't think there's really anything else that I can do. This guy's going to dash and come in here. This is about to get sloppy right now. We're going to have to duke it out with these brigands. Okay. So. <sighs> okay. 15 hit points. This person's going to die. What do we got here? Mage hand. Create a spectral hand that can manipulate. Okay. I don't think grease is the play. Can I sleep this guy in my face? No target? Wait, what? Can I sleep? I don't want to really sleep anybody but this guy right here. Hold on. I guess not. Because reasons? 
Okay, that's fine. Then can I charm him? There we go. 36% chance to charm. There we go. They have been charmed. Does that... What does it mean, though? So I can't attack now, right? Not enough actions. Okay, so she's going to hit this person and kill them. There we go. Beautiful. One down, and we're going to stay there. Nobody needs to be healed, do they? Actually, they do. Wait, she needs to heal herself. Let's go ahead and heal myself. Okay, plus four. Easy peasy. We're topped off. I want this guy to come through here. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. That guy just got destroyed. Ow. Okay. This is a problem. I'm going to drink a potion of healing. Oh! Oh, it's fine. He needed the potion of healing anyway. This guy is still charmed. This guy. Or this guy. This guy actually hit for a lot. I feel like maybe... Tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Ignis this guy. Oh, big damage. Big damage. Okay, perfect. But I now can't stab him, though. Okay. And then we're going to kill this guy. Okay, I hate everything. Thank you. I meant to take a potion. Not enough resources. I'm at six hit points. If that guy hits me, I'm screwed. It doesn't... Does this red arrow mean an attack of opportunity? Okay, provokes attack of opportunity. There's really just nothing else that I can do other than stand here and maybe die. What did that guy just... Jesus. Jesus Christ. Did he just punch me with a fireball? Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible for us. Wait, there's more people! Oh, God. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We have to get a couple of kills here. That guy's at seven. That guy's at full health. Reckless attack. I think this guy is... Wait, when is this guy's turn? I'm going to have a chance to kill that guy. I'm not going to have a chance to kill that guy. I don't know what my play is here. Um, Ray of Frost is 1d8. We do have the Ignis. We still do have the Grease. Um... Can I dr I could drop a God Grease right here. This is the God Grease. I don't... Wait. Oh! Oh, okay. So the ground was on fire. The Grease is flammable, so we all caught fire. Okay. Um. That was... That was an interesting choice. That was an interesting choice. Okay, so what do we have available here? Uh, really nothing. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna potion, and I'm gonna stand in the flames. Okay, okay. Here's the thing. We can get some water here. She's at 14 to 17 hit points. I feel like we can probably. Wait, what is this? Create water. And I'm going to drop that water on us, but not them. Like, maybe, maybe here. Oh, shit. Well, we're not burning, but we're really soggy now. And I think that... Okay, that's fine. She's going to stay... Where are all these things? She doesn't have any more things she can do. Okay, we're not burning anymore. So I think that's a, that's a huge dub. Okay. This guy just keeps getting whacked every time he comes to the door. Oh, God. Thanks. Thank you so much for that. Oh, he's trying to dip me? Okay, bud. Okay, bud. All right. This guy is burning. This guy's burning. I don't know the play here. What's the most damage I can do? 47. 1d10. This is like the most more guaranteed. Wait a minute. 49. 49. We could just kill this guy. I mean, technically it could kill that guy. This guy we're going to kill in a second. Who's the most dangerous here? Barton? I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, this guy. Let's see if we can just finish this guy off. Okay, but he's burning. He's only got one hit point. I think that guy's just going to die. So we should be good. Sometimes the only way out is and now I murder this guy. Okay. Beautiful. I don't think there's anything else that I can really do right now other than stand here and hope that I don't die. 
That guy burns to death. This guy is going to hamstring Gale. Boy, that's that was a lot of damage right there. Okay, I think we've got two people left. Okay, bud. Okay, so this guy, can we charm him? What do we have? Hypnotic Gaze. It cannot attack you. It cannot act. 60% chance of charming this guy. You have unlocked an action as a result of another ability, future condition. It will remain at the side of your hot bar until the... Okay. What do you guys think that is? I don't know. I don't know which one we're talking about. Okay, beautiful. So that guy is going to do literally no damage as long as we don't hit him. And uh, you're going to come back over here. Perfect. Perfect. I don't think we can do anything else. Is it six of 14 hit points? We're only chugging these potions. All right, that's fine. Concentrate. She cannot hit that guy. She can't heal anybody. We do have a scroll of detect thoughts. I don't think that's going to be important. Turn on dead. We're not going to need sacred flame. Oh, we could, could finger somebody with guidance. Blessing of the trickster. Hmm. Maybe I send her through the door. Yep. Come kill this guy. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is precisely what I needed right now. And you're good. Okay. Okay. We're looking good right now. Uh, razor tooth. I don't know. Shoot this guy. 65% chance to hit this guy. Later, idiot. Beautiful. Okay. Now, all we need to do is gangbang this dude. He's only got 18 hit points. Everybody else should be dead. Let's end this. Let's go. And we should just be able to be... We should be good to come over here. Okay. Eight damage on him. He's out of his hypnotic gaze. He can't go anywhere. I'm going to hit him. Ow. And... What's our best move here? I guess it would be this. Nine damage. And he's burning. He's got one hit point left. And then she's going to come whack this guy off. There it is. Wow. Okay. That was... That was tense. That was tense. The combat in this game, very tense. Jeez. Okay, next time I want to jump in a hole, how about we just don't, okay? Let's do a short rest. Okay, everybody's mostly recovered on their hit points. Let's go ahead and save. And now we have to loot all of these folks. Let's see what we have here. We've got a simple toxin. We didn't use any of our throwables, by the way. Some damage, some leather armor. That guy is empty. Actually, I want to loot the big the big barbarian guy. I'm going to have to probably drop some stuff because... Oh, this is Gimbalbach. This is the guy that we killed up top. He fell in the hole. He's got a shovel, and he's got a long sword. Is a long sword a one or a two-handed? He also has a scale mail. I don't know. I, mean, I might be able to wear that. Some buttered buns. Beautiful. What about Tamak? Uh, I think we just... Okay. Does he really have nothing? Hold on. We didn't click on the right person. Taman. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Um, I think we got everybody. There should be nothing in these or else it probably would show us. Okay. Let's check this rustic chest. A quill and an ink pot. Probably can sell that. This is the guy that had the, uh, the good weapon. He was using a great club, a javelin, leather boots, and leather gloves. I'm going to leather myself out. I'm going to be the big bad leather daddy. Short sword. How do I know when I'm too full? That's the real question. I haven't found anybody that I can actually sell anything to. Uh, we got all those. I don't think I need that javelin. Where is uh, where is Ch Cheffrey? I would like to loot Cheffrey. What do we got here? Scroll of burning hands, a quarter staff, a simple robe, and a journey through the jungle. Now all we have left is Tortuga in here. Let's go ahead and loot Tortuga. Okay, beautiful. Is there anything? Okay, we have a. I don't think I need a torch. Maybe I need more pockets. I want to grab this here. Okay, <clears throat> am I over my weight? I don't even know how to tell. I'm at one fifty-eight of two ten. Okay, cool. I think that we have a bunch of different stuff that we can wear. If I click this, there we go. Let's see. Equip my Asterian. Somebody had. Okay, scale mail. I think I can wear the scale mail, right? Okay, the scale mail is good. I can't wear the ring mail. I don't care about the robes or the leather armor. Okay. What about my helms? A circlet. 
And I'm not wearing that stupid hat. That's not going to happen. I'm going to wear the cape. That's fine. We've got some leather gloves. We've got leather boots. Okay. These. All right. The ones. Okay. That's all good. What about my homely clothes? Everything else is already equipped by somebody. And what are these? Overshoes. Everybody already has overshoes. What about my undies? Maybe I should swap undies with somebody. What does this do? Okay. I don't need that. Silver necklace, silver locket. I think I just sell those. And I have one ring. They don't seem to have any stats on them. I don't care about my banjo. That's fine. And what can we do for one-handed weapons? That's the thing. I kind of like these axes. I'm going to be honest. What is this? Okay. A war hammer. Where does this say whether it's a one or a two-handed weapon? Hand axe, war hammer, uh, versatile. I also don't know what that means. Goblin scimitar, a mace. We have some long swords. I kind of like how the axes look. I'm going to keep those. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and save real quick. And we have some doors. Gosh. Do I really want to do it? Should we use, should we use my tools? Lock picking impossible. Open it. Wait, I can attack it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just beat it down. Stupid door. All right. There doesn't actually appear to be anything that we can loot in here, except for another door. We have some candles there. Oh, we're in a dank crypt. Oh, wait a minute. This is the crypt we were just in. Okay, this is all looted. We've already done this. Go back through here. We're in the refectory. Uh, okay. All right, so that way really has nothing for us to check. Let's come down here. The Book of the Final Breath. Let's check this out. Reading these books has actually paid off for us so far. Den dense rows of scrawled text. The few legible entries seem to detail the names and final words of numerous individuals. Come see this. It's Madge Pinner. Laboratory Explosion. Hearth Crest. Waylaid in an Everwinter Alley. You're blocking my light. Okay. I don't think we're going to glean much from that. Okay. There is a lever. A looter's trunk. This looks like there might be bad guys in here. Maybe this is where those guys all came from. I already killed everybody. What do we got here? We've got some water heavy and cheese wedge. I'm going to take that. It sounds delicious. Uh, some dried sausage links. Thank you. We have a cheese wheel. I'm saving this looter's trunk for last. This looting, all, looting all this cheese is it's like uh, some foreplay here. Oh, I'm uncumbered. Okay. Here we go. Beautiful. Uh, we got to we got to take the cheese like. A portrait of Fane. Can we loot it? Oh, fucking took it. All right, let's take this looter's, looter's trunk. 13 gold. A cup. A plate. And a glass chalice. All right, we have to probably drop some things. What's the heavy? Probably weapons, huh? How, how heavy are we? I don't know. 163 of 210. All right, we probably can drop a shore sword. Wait a minute. Drop a... Just drop item. And yeah, we can probably drop some of this. Wait, how much did he sell for? I'm a bit of a loot glob goblino. Okay. Uh, all right, we should be good now. I don't think we're encumbered. Perfect. Until the next, literally the next thing we loot. Wait, there's a bunch of stuff on here that is not lighting up i don't need that bottle honestly don't 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 do the bottle it's fine plate bowl looter's chest all right we got all this this is a this is a trunk here i don't think it's got anything in it all right per, okay we gotta just, let's just drop you can't get blood from a stone no 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 i'm trying to do inventory management listen shadowheart gale seems interesting <sighs> i got a lot going on right now um okay thank you we'll chat later catch just catch me outside 
What do I have that I can drop? Wait, where was that portrait of Gale? Um, let's see. We can probably... Oh, four and a half pounds. Drop the leather armor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, where are we at? I don't think there was anything up here. It's just... A, oh, there is a door. I just pinged it. Oh, that brings us out to the overgrown. <laughs> I just pinged it again. All right, let's go this way. Let's... um. Let's come down here. There is a plaque. I bet if we touch this, it opens up a secret passage. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. Also, maybe not. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Okay. I think that we've opened all the doors and we've looted all of the things. And I feel like we can go back out to the overgrown ruins for now. There we go. That was clean. That was very clean. Let's go ahead and save real quick. Okay. Let's walk around this. Let's not fall in this hole. I'm going to fall for that trick three times. Okay. I don't really know where to go. I feel like we have explored. I think we explored everything here. So that was that. Uh, we've explored all of this. We have a little bit of map edge down there that we didn't look at. But we could definitely maybe come up through here. All right. Let's go this way. Let's keep our eyes out. You know what we should do? Uh, we should come in here and see if there's any alchemies that we can do. There we go. And we can make another one of these. Okay. Beautiful. All of our alchemies have been completed. And it looks like the only way... That we can go is north. We came that way. We did all this. Let's go take a look up here. See what there is. Okay, that's the ruins. Oh, there's people talking. Well, well, well. Look what I found. I'm gonna heal up. I'm gonna have to fight these people. All right, let's go. Let's go up here and talk to these folks. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you? Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move. Yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Well, rather demanding for a woman in your position, why should I? Don't worry, I'll get them out of here, one way or the other. Deception. This creature is dangerous. Get out of here, leave it to me. Persuasion. Shoot the trap down. We must kill it before it harms someone or attack the tieflings. I feel like I don't have a reason to just attack the tieflings. We should probably try to, to de-escalate. Um, I'm just going to use de deception. This creature is dangerous. Just get out of here. I'll take care of it. I'm going to hit him with the deception. And the dice god is about to roll a fat, like, 15. Okay. There we go. Boom. Got it, baby. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. Yo, I'm looking pretty dope in this in this new armor. A blast. I could use more specifics. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. I'm in dire need of healing. Where is this camp? We can beat a five easy. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. <laughs> and be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. When you say whatever your wound. Enough gawking. Get me down. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna make her say please. Never. Okay. 
How do we, uh, how do we get her down? Maybe I shouldn't stand underneath it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. How do I undo, how do I undo what I'm doing? Just move over here. No. Okay. Let's see. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to shoot her down. Not with, not, not like that. Not like that. Uh, hold up. Hold up. Which one is it? M string. This one here. Okay. Got it. Here we go. Here we go. Wait, how do I... Hold on. I'm going to get this mushroom real quick. There has to be a lever. There has to be a lever or something. I, I have to be able to shoot her down. Hold on. I'm going to come up here. Maybe I need to get some high ground and target the top of the trap. Listen, just relax. I'm working on it. Something to ask. Questionable intellect. Unsurprising. Release me. Or enjoy a future as geich. Uh, what is yeah? What does geek mean? That's a mind flayers, the atrocities we are becoming. Becoming? There's no hope for us, is there? No remedy. Release me, and I will share it. Okay. All right. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out. I bet I just have to shoot. I just have to shoot this. Watch. Hope your soul is in good hands. Okay. I'm going to shoot. Oh, here we go. Probably just need another hit. Got it. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. Hmm. And what exactly is a creche? I thought you already had a cure with you right here. A simple thank you. I'm going to ask her what a creche is. is. many things. A hatchery. A training grounds. A shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. Wait, do your people get infected with tadpole so often that you have a protocol for it? That seems a little weird. I thought you already had the cure with you right here. A pity that. I made an offer and you accepted. Your fantasy is not my burden. Okay. All right, we journey together. Let's find let's find the crutch. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Oh boy, who is my wake up? Wait to my camp. We just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Very go. Very well, but heed my words. The horned ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Okay. Another quest complete, team. How do we do it? How does the kid do it? Uh, let's go up here and look around here for a second. Okay, we've already... We, yeah, 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 we're good here. I think we've looted everything in there. I need to find this camp that everybody's talking about. I have to sell all of my wares. I'm not going to pick up that short bow. I think we're already a little heavy. Uh, let's see. They said Northwest. Right? Is that what they said? Like, there's really nothing else. Man, I don't really want to walk down there, but I, I would love to see if there's any loot. All right, so... She went this way. I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out. Shouting. But be careful. Oh, oh it's saving. Oh, I'm about to fight something. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Oh, shit. The nine hells! Open the gates! <clears throat> oh, 
Oh no. Oh. No. They could have slid under like Indiana Jones. Shit. That's so Damn many gobos. Oh! Damnable roach. Provoke the blade. Whoa! And suffer it sting. Daddy's here. Well, I guess we're all fighting now. Are we all fighting? Okay. What what even is this battle right now? Alright, Asterion. Oh, wait a minute. Can we get uh oh. What if I can uh what if I can just backdoor these guys? Wait, can I come all the way around? I don't know if it's worth going all the way around. But because I think shooting these guys, 55%. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hold on, can we jump up there? If we get This jump is not this is just not what I need. Okay, let's unjump. Let's un let's unjump. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna invest the time to run all the way around this mountain and get the high ground, and he's gonna archer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna come all the way up here and kill those guys. Okay, perfect. Hopefully this guy doesn't suck. Oh, nice. What is that thing? It's a word. All right, nice. There we go. Get the high ground. Everybody back up. Okay, bud. Okay. Um, If I wanted to climb up here... Jesus, that guy hit me for so much. If I want to climb up here and hit this guy, I can do it, right? How many hit points has he got? Seven? E shit, idiot. There we go. Okay, beautiful. And we're going to move in here. And we're going to be good. Bug a bugbear. Oh, God. I think that we're going to move up here and cast some spells. I'm going to hit him with an Ignis. I probably can just kill. That guy's got 13 hit points. 21. This goblin brawler could just wipe him out. 26 on the work. I wonder if it's just worth killing this guy. Okay. Well, this is unfortunate, but here we are. What does this thing do again? Thank you That's for your game. follow. Oh, my God. Okay. Nice. I want this guy's weapon. Ow. Really, bud? Why do these guys do so much damage? Okay, everybody rallied. I don't, I don't know what that means, but... Okay, one person. We got one down over there. Ooh, that bugbear just took one right in the noodle. Get to the high ground! Raiders! Guards are bastards! <laughs> okay. She's gonna climb up here. I don't know if it's worth her. She's gonna... I'm, I'm just gonna send her... I'm just gonna send her over here. As, as far as she can go. I should have had her heal me. I'm dumb. This guy should be dead. I tried to Ignis him. Ooh, jeez. <laughs> I'm still trying to make it around the mountain over here. Please. There we go. All right. I should be able to bow. Path is... Oh, I'm so sad right now that I have, uh, that I have chose this. Wait, can I undo? How do I go back to walking? I just... There we go. No. No, oh, just walk over here. Okay, you're just... Hold up. All right, just stay there. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, that's another one down. I believe that our side is winning. I wish, I wish I would stop getting shot, though. Yeah, climb up here and just gank this guy. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. The old one-hitter quitter is what they call it. And we should just go ahead and start climbing back down. Okay. Gail, I need you to not suck. Who should we kill? 60% chance. 17 hit points. How much damage? This one does 1 to 10 damage. I feel like we should probably kill some immediate threats. I feel like we can... I feel like we should just kill one of these guys. 21. Let's try to hit this guy with an Ignis. Okay. For 7 and they're burning. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to be honest with you. Nice miss by the Wurg. A nice piercing strike. There we go. Beautiful. 
I should have killed this guy. God damn it. Really? Did he just grease me? Did I just get greased? His greasing days are over. Okay. So. Here's the problem. Uh... She can't really even do anything useful. She can try to, like, maybe Ignis. I feel like she just has to get in the fight. Let's un-Ignis. How do I cancel? Can somebody tell me how to, like, uh... I would like to shut this off. Uh, shit. I'm gonna click out here and see. There we go. Can she move? Am I frozen? Oh! Oh, thank you. He just threw a, he threw out a heal at me. Beautiful. Okay, I've got good news. We're about five turns away from Astarian joining the fight. Now that he's got the high ground. That's beautiful. I don't actually think that he can shoot anybody right now. Ranged attack. Nope. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. Can he move at all? I don't know. Okay, just stand right there and just chill for a second. We're going to handle this. Okay, I'm back up, but I think that I have a debuff of some type on me. Difficult terrain. Where do I see what is debuffing me? I guess it's up here. Difficult terrain, and but I'm rallied. Grand eight temporary hit points. Okay, I'm just going to run up here, I guess. Hopefully, I don't fall down. Oh, I got greased. There's grease. I can just mouse. Okay, I got greased. Did that guy just throw an axe? Okay, bud. Guess what? I'm about to return fire, Captain Bugbear. I'll see you in Valhalla. God damn it. Okay. All right. We're going to stay back here. We're going to let these guys handle their business. This isn't even my fight. This isn't even my fight. There we go. Okay. What I'm going to do is just... I'm going to waddle out of the grease. Okay, beautiful. And I do have an Ignis. I'll see you in hell. God, it was two damage. Okay, let's move up so we can get a melee range. This guy here. Ooh, I don't know what that was, but it looks sexy. Aha! Astarian is finally in the battle and now we're gonna kill this guy target outside of North okay um all right let's just move down here okay cool okay I'm still in the grease let's go ahead and get out of the grease here I don't think there's just I can acid spray oh that's not what we want to do no 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 just Nice miss, asshole. Now I'm going to return fire, baby. I'm going to send an Ignis back this guy's way. See you in hell. There it is, baby. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Nice job. Let's climb down. Not in the grease, though. Okay, perfect. Okay, what do we got left? I think we got a Werg and we got... Ooh, never mind. Let's take the Werg off the list. We just have Zach Grug. And that guy's down. That was the last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Beautiful. We Good thing we showed up. We carried those guys so hard. Here's the problem. I want to loot all of this. But I'm so heavy right now. Let's loot this guy. He's a named guy. He probably has a sick weapon. Spiked shield. Gloves of power. Let's take the gloves of power. Let's take the gold. I'll come back. Take that word meat, baby. And this bugbear, what does he have? A morning star. I might, I, man, if I could find another one, I would do a double morning stars. What is this? Bone caps. Okay. All right. We might have to come back and loot. I'm so, I'm so heavy right now. Let's go in here and talk to the people that we just saved. I need to find a vendor. Like, that's the first thing that there I. There are children here, you fool! 
We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Look how tall I am. God damn, am I sexy. Where they're... Wait a minute, Ranger. I've seen much bloodier battle than this. Consider yourself lucky. I don't want to be condescending because, like, we, we yeah, we save these people, but, you know. Where there's one goblin, there's ten. I'm leaving both the horde shows up. One fight just ended, and now you're picking another. Those goblins didn't take any prisoners. Hmm. I'm going to say one fight just ended. Let's de-escalate. De-escalation is going to be a theme of this run. Investigation de-escalation that's what we're focused on one fight just ended and now you're picking another Tell that to the dead at the gate shut it horns i'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer my duty is to this camp oh god forbid you risk your precious tail but i shouldn't be surprised foul bloods ain't known for courage intimidation if you want me to take both of you down i will otherwise knock it off Stand back and watch. You know what? More violence will not bring them back. Let's hit them with the persuasion check. I've been rolling the god dice all run so far. And that's a 15. Do I have anything for a bonus? I'm going to use guidance. 1d4. I'm feeling lucky. How does the kid do it? There we go. The escalation. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More we did it, team. I'm more worried about this parasite than a few goblins. Time we to need a healer. To leave. Who's this guy? Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Razor Tooth Grim. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Beautiful. I have no quarrel with druids. Why are they forcing you out? Those goblins, have there been many attacks? All right, let's work through this. Uh, I have no quarrel with druids. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. Hmm. The ritual? Is there no way to convince the druids to stop I've it? i tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. I'll see what I can do. Uh, yup. Okay. Really? We're messengers now? We owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Okay. That's fair. Well, it looks like we have made it to the city called the Emerald Grove. I am going to go ahead and level us all up. Let's see what we got going on in here. Okay, team. We're leveling up. Ranger, level three. Specialization available. Oh, God. We have so many things that we can do right now. Um, all right. Class feature. I've level one spell slot unlocked. Perfect. We've gained the ability to spell. We've get ranger companions. Gain a beast companion. Beautiful. So that is good. Do I, can I put points in anything? I feel like I should be able to like add points. Initiative plus two. Hit points 25. Um... Okay, I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I should be able to put points in things, but I, I guess not. All right, let's add another spell. I, I forget what spells we already have. The good berry. Let's see. Long strider. Enhanced leap. Triple my leaping distance. I, I, I don't hate that, honestly. You know what? The hunter's mark. I kind of wanted to take that to first time. Mark a creature. 
and you deal 1 to 6 damage whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. I feel like this is the RP choice. The Fog Cloud, we could probably get somewhere else. And Searing Strike, we don't really need. Hail of Thorns. Let's take this Hunter's Mark. Subclass is Beastmaster, Gloomstalker, or Hunter. Okay, wait a minute. Hunter, you seek most dangerous prey in Faroon. Um, Gloomstalker would give me Dread Ambusher. I don't think we want that. Beastmaster. Yeah, we're going to go Beastmaster. I feel like Gloomstalker, I don't... I'm a giant dragon. Like, I'm not going to be stealthing around. I'm not going to be stealthing around. And Hunter... What would, what would I get for this? Colossal Slayer. Once per turn, weapon attack deals an extra 1d8 if the target is below its hit point maximum. Giant Killer. If a large or bigger creature attacks you, you can use your reaction to make a melee attack. Prerequisite, you must be able to see the creature in it. Okay, wait a minute. If a large or bigger creature attacks you, you can use your reaction to make a melee attack. Okay, so it's like a counter attack. Horde Breaker, target two creatures standing close to each other, attacking them in quick succession. Hmm. What's the other, what else do I get? If not, I get the Ranger's Companion. I, I feel like... I feel like we're already have the things. Yeah, we're going to be a beast master. We're going to be a beast master. I feel like that's good. So our spell. Okay, good. The amount of spells you have fixed. I think we're good. So we're going to be a beast master. Okay. And I still. I can't put. I can't seem to put points in anything. Maybe this isn't the screen that we. That we. Uh, let's see. Toggle summary. Features. Okay. I guess. I guess we just do this. I guess we just hit accept. Okay. So our cleric has leveled up. And it looks like she's got some extra hit points. It looks like we have some spells that are available. All right. Prepared spells. So, oh, we have some level two new spells. Aid, heal your allies. and increase. Okay. She's going to be like a total like healing person. Prayer of healing. Care of wounds, bless. I'm gonna be honest with you. Let's take that off. So this one heals and increases increases maximum hit points. That's beautiful. Lesser restoration. Cure a creature from disease, poison, paralysis, or blindness. I feel like that's helpful. You know the water. Wait a minute. She didn't have the water. Care of wounds. Shield of faith. I feel like we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The water was super helpful. I think I'm gonna keep the water. Heal all allies. You can see. Wait. Can I just spec her to be like a like an AOE healer? Prayer of Healing 2, Cure of Wounds. Oh, God, what have I done? Yeah, 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 that's good. Okay, so I have Prayer of Healing, Heal All Allies, Aid, Heal Your Allies, and Increase Their Maximum Hit Points. Plus, we have Healing Word. I feel like we need the Cure. Okay, that's going to be helpful. Warding Bond, they get a resistance to all damage and a plus one to their armor class. That is useful. Protection from Poison. Calm Emotions. Hold Person. Prayer of Healing, Spiritual Weapon, Summon a Floating Spectral Weapon that attacks your enemies alongside you. That Silence was actually really strong. Blindness and Enhanced Ability, Bestow a Magical Enchantment upon an ally, they gain advantage. Okay, Shield of Faith, Protect Creature from Attacks. I feel like that is good. I feel like we need a single target heal. God, the water, the water saved us, but it's just such, it's, so, it's too niche is the problem. Bestow a magical enchantment upon an ally. They get an advantage on ability checks. The chosen ability. I'll tell you what, maybe that's silence. Let's pop that in there. Okay. I feel like this is good. Let's accept. Okay. Astarian the Rogue. Arcane Trickster. Oh, he gets so many things right now. All right. So he gets cantrips. Change your cantrip selection below. Okay, I don't know what these are. Acid Splash. Throw a bubble of acid. Bone Chill. Prevent the target from healing until your next turn. Poison Spray. Project a puff of noxious gas. Ray of Frost. Reduce the target movement speed. Shocking Grasp. Uh, that's good on metal armor. Blade Ward. Take only half the damage. Okay. Friends. Gain an advantage on charisma checks against non-hostile creatures. Dancing Lights. Illuminate. Light, infuse an object with an aura of light. Create an illusion that compels nearby creatures to investigate. And true strike, gain an advantage in your next roll. I, I have no idea what's useful here. I'm going to take the acid splash and the poison spray. I don't, I don't even know if that's good or not. 
Also, like, are these... I, I don't even know if these are usable only in combat. Or are they usable... Are these usable when I'm just talking to people in town and I have to, like, try to pass, like, some type of... I guess it says charisma checks against a non-hostile creature. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's take this off and let's add this and we'll see if it works when we talk to people in town. All right, spells times two. I think we already have all these. Color spray, blinds creatures. Yeah, let's take an AoE blind and sleep or charm. Ten turns, two turns, charm person. Prevent it from attacking you. Gain an advantage on charisma checks and dialogues. Okay, we're in the charisma. Okay, expanded. You can add a wizard spell of your choice. Okay, I feel like we have a lot of Ignis. Each flammable target is hit with 3 to 18 fire damage. Chromatic orb, 3 to 24 thunder damage. I don't want that. Exp expeditious retreat. False life, 7 temporary hit points. Featherfall, fine familiar. Fog cloud, we know what those are. Grease. Ice Knife. We've already looked at a bunch of these. What's this one with the fish bones? It's Magic Missile. Protection from good and evil. Ray of Sickness is a poison. Shield. When you're about to be hit by an enemy, increase your armor class by 5. Sleep. Laughter. Thunder Wave. Witch Bolt. I feel like... Hmm. I, I have no idea. And possibly creates a surface on impact. Alternatively, choose a different type of damage. I feel like I'm just taking a bunch of AoE stuff that I'm not going to be able to use because it's going to hit our own people. Magic Missile. Tell you what, I'm going to take Burning Hands. I don't know why, but I'm going to take it. And then we have him. So we, I think we spec him into like Evocation. He gets two more new spells here. Oh my God, it's so many spells. Arcane Lock. Close a door container with Magical Lock. It can no longer be lockpicked. I don't know why I would want to do that. Blindness. Blur. Attackers have disadvantage of attack rolls. A cloud of daggers. Conjure a cloud of spinning daggers. Crown of madness. Instill a madness in a humanoid enemy, making them attack the nearest creature closest to them other than you. I, I do like this because it also is an enchantment spell. Darkness. This is evocation. Create a dark shroud that heavily obscures and blinds. Dark vision. Grant the ability to see in the dark. Detect thoughts. Focus your mind to read the thoughts of certain creatures while talking to them. Enlarge and reduce. Make a creature larger or smaller. Uh, I don't know what that does. Flaming sphere. Summon summon a flaming sphere that damages nearby enemies and objects. Okay. Well, you can move the sphere. Okay. Gust of wind pushes creatures back. That might be helpful. Hold person. Hold a humanoid still. That was actually useful. Invisibility. Touch a creature to turn it invisible. Knock. Unlock an unlock an object that's held shut by a mundane lock. I feel like that's actually useful. Magic weapon. Infuse a weapon with arcane energy. The weapon becomes magical. So does that allow me to, to infuse, like, my allies? Melf. Melf's acid arrow. I don't even know who Melf is. Shoot a green acid arrow. We want the pink ones. Phantasmal force. That's illusion. Uh, necromancy. Weaken a foe. Ray of enfeeblement. Scorching ray. I gotta believe that is just fire damage ray. Sea invisibility. Shatter. Damages all nearby creatures and objects. Creatures made of inorganic material, such as stone. Okay, that's interesting. A web cover in a... Okay. Oh, my God. Burning hands, we know. This, we know. Collar spray. Expeditious retreat. False life. These, we've all read. Find familiar. I have no idea what to take. I feel like he's doing evocation, so... What was that? Hold person? I thought we already had hold person. Crown of Madness will be fun to use. Shatter. Damages all nearby creatures and objects with thunder damage. And that's evocation? Wait, he's not evocation. He's enchantment. So hold person. I wish I could uh, sort these. I mean, I guess it's got to be the pink ones, right? Well, pink is necromancy. Does it even matter if I stay within enchantment or not? Conjuration. Illusion. I have no idea. And a blind... Look, team, I don't know. I could stay here all day reading these and probably never, ever come to a come to an opinion. Let's take... What was that one that I like? Phantasmal Force. Deal damage to a creature each turn. That type of damage changes to the last type of creature suffered. I wish there was more enchantment spells. That's all I can say. Darkness... 
Blur Blindness. Blind a creature. That one is Necromancy. Abjuration. Mirror image. Create three illusory duplicates of yourself that distract attackers. Yo. YOLO. We'll take that one right there. There we go. Everybody's leveled up. Awesome. Well, listen, uh, we got to the Emerald Grove. We just leveled up. We've had a very good start. I think I've only had two technical deaths. One restart, if I remember correctly. We're about four hours in. I don't know how long it's supposed to take me to the Emerald Gold, the Grove, but I've really enjoyed this playthrough. I'm actually very impressed with how cool the dialogue options are and how tailored it is, depending on the questions that you... Uh, the questions you answer and how you answer them. There's so much to loot, which I love. I think in our when I return with our next episode, we'll probably have to go ahead and sell all of my stuff and see if we can upgrade some of our weapons and armors. Uh, but listen, I appreciate you all for watching, and I will see you with the next episode soon. Thank you, and goodbye.